DLC kind of basic. Whoops, <laughs> forgot to change that. Getting hit by the dock, the flare there, and another one coming on here. It's gonna really limit Cactus's options here, and there it is. Try to roll through it, I think, but it just, just gets clipped. And another one. This is gonna kind of seem like the star of the show here. It's really just forcing Cactus to make specific approaches, and that's gonna be a stop there. Really good stuff to everyone. Really good stop. And here we have the Charizard coming out. I probably would say. Zard is Isaac's best character, and oh, it does go for the oh. Goes for a very all or nothing play there. Kind of, kind of weird to go for at such an early point in the game when you're already down. Yeah, see, forcing the shield there kind of lets everyone recover for free. Doesn't make it back either way, but still, you know that's what that's one of the things with this matchup is that dark light does just force him play it in a very specific way and forces you to kind of play passive at specific points which can let Sephiroth gain momentum back really well. Nah. Um, let me know if the frame rate and stuff for the stream is okay. Um, it seems to be chugging on my screen but I can't tell if that's just me or not. Um, also let me know if the audio is okay and all that jazz. You know, you know how it is. Let me know if it's all good. Game 1 going to air 1. Let's report that. Let's report that. There we go. Cool. What song is that? Is that Toho? Okay. Okay. Thought so. Thought it's a Toho. I want to go. 
characters in today, I think. Um, also because we played random dinner with my wife. <laughs> <laughs> Just so I know who they're looking for for their evil grand finals in 10 years man. <laughs> Christy, is the um the stream okay? Is every is like the frame rate okay and the audio okay? Should be fine, but I like on my screen it looks like it's a bit choppy, so I can't tell. Ooh, I'll switch it and really doing that. Seems okay, okay, good, good to know. The, uh, what's it called, the OBS preview, it's like, um, feels like the frame rate's lower than it normally is, so I couldn't tell if that was the stream or just the OBS preview fucking up. Cool. <laughs> oh, this is a closer game, I haven't been watching. Oh, that might be the thing, yeah. Goes, goes for all of uh, Two old travels. Quite a few ballsy up drop frames, okay. Alright. So that's Thank you. 
It's their first weekly more. Anymore. 
Wait, no, I didn't do it the right way around. Fuck. Yeah. 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 Oh, I'm like, that oh, That's I can't imagine that. Yeah. Apologies, I fire. I didn't update it to switch them around. Uh, this is the right way around, don't worry. I didn't up. Um, I was forced to switch them around quickly, I'm sorry, I couldn't get the character change in time. It's preset. It's, uh, don't worry. That's on me, don't worry. Commentary from Tale of the Toaster. We have our brand new player, Skelly Tuba, never been to a Smash tournament in his life, uh, playing on Joy-Cons with default controls. In fact, he's not playing with default controls, actually. He's accidentally playing with Cactus's controls. Um, so I'll have to tell him about that after this match, because he's probably eating a fat load of misinputs off the back of it. No way was that going to kill Smash Brothers, you absolute liar. Lobby, did he go random, Bendix? Or has he actually picked Samus? I was to switch them around last minute, I couldn't really check. Oh, there's a good downbeat from Skelichuber. Is he a YouTuber? I mean, probably below the terms of service age, but don't worry about that one. He's on Twitch TV right now against the mighty Lobby Samus. The skull bashes they're hitting, maybe not the third one or the fourth one for recovery, but oh, he's, he's going his way back in. Like, all I saw of his set against Giovanni's full on main bilet was that he got three stops. Um, but, oh well, it's over. I'll just tell him about his tag. I'll whip your blood. You have someone else's tag on, so probably change the controls. Well, I guess it wouldn't be playing like I drank that a lot of wick. Yes, I was I It's cool. It's hard, it's hard. It's hard. Yeah, we've realised he probably didn't have any misinputs because I don't think uh, Cactus would have changed the controls for the Joy-Cons anyway, but nevertheless, we've got him on no name just to make sure. And the action continues from Lobby's Samus on Town and City. Oh, the down airs. Just the raw down airs we do enjoy. But Skeletuba, again, first tournament. Sometimes it gives you the strangest of power ups. And sometimes you die to Samus's up air with perhaps the worst DI uh, imaginable for that situation. But it's okay because we're all here to learn, I'm sure. 
uh, after this set everyone will be here to kind of tell them what to do in those kind of situations and there is still hope yet to get some stocks off of Lobby's Samus actually you know what very poor decision on Lobby's part to shield that Pikachu school bash completely safe the option there when it was that telegraph was just to jump and let Skeletuber fly past and go for an edge guard situation but uh, or really yeah no point in spot dodging but here we are again this time he does it uh, no way Pikachu is gonna go off stage from that position but now it's time oh the thunder almost finding its mark instead go back to how things were F smash in the wrong direction doesn't take it down smash would have hit in that situation so the the opportunities are there and sometimes lobby simply won't grab the ledge when when attempting to recover and sometimes Skeletuba also will not do the same we've had two for two on SDs here in the game but that's fine because two to one Lobby's still got some stocks on deck Skeletuba can he make use of his bracket life well at the moment Lobby freestyling with whatever he can come up with and killing himself bye there is hope yet yeah, this could be a 1-1 one -one. will Lobby flummox the bag against our brand new competitor or will uh, the w the ways of the predictable come out. Can Lobby? I'm I'm scared for him off stage. You know, <laughs> he's put the fear of God in me. He's S he's SD twice in this game. Surely he's not going to do it three times. But there we go. Almost actually kind of holding back on the forward air. Now for Skeletuba to recover. The skull bash is of course the answer. We've seen plenty of those in the set already. Catch the roll. Empty read. There's a down B of course one day you know static resonance it might just electrocute lobbies regardless there's the back air okay so lobby will be winning the set here in losers side but congrats uh, on a gr increasingly good performance from our first time as SkellyTuber we will hope to see at future weeklies and you never know the next smash prodigy could be right here Jackie will teach him Steve and then he'll be <laughs> Then he'll be winning weeklies before you know it. For now, the lobby will be moving on. We'll see if anyone else can play. I think it will be me versus Vivi, actually. I'll go let her.
Okay, fans, we are back. It's my first time over here, so... Oh, I got a gift. I do not, because I'm playing, but I just need to... Ooh, how do I change this stuff? Ooh, you got all the colours too, from first time students. Mm. Yeah. Oh, oh, it's like being a Delta got responsibilities now. Alright, it's my first time here, so probably, probably I'm okay as an announcer. We're at the... let's see... We're at the losers round one apparently, and we've got Tail versus Vivi. Uh, I both know these two, and they're pretty good players as well. Uh, we've got, as a Rob character, I know that can be very tricky, and I've seen Vivi's Corrin as well, and that one can be quite harmful, I guess, if you're facing against it. Especially if you don't know what you're doing. Which is usually me. It's with Biwami Battle Waste, in case you're wondering who's announcing. Sorry, I should have mentioned that. On Battlefield! Nice! Am I playing some Paper Mario? Good, good. Uh, hope everyone's doing okay in this balmy 25 degree weather. At least it's not 40 at the minute. At the minute. But over here, things are starting to heat up again. Watch out how to change the screen here. Sorry about that. I was like, I'm going this guy. Announcing. Uh, yeah, I'm going Peach and... Ooh, we're going Peach and Sheep for what? I got confused there. I'm apologies, folks. Hmm, at least I'm not quite sure about that. I know that Sheep can be very... Scrimbly old, dimbly old, but... Damage. <laughs> barely can eat it. Ooh, Peach can be quite... Quite a sharp move. Oh, get with a counter! Uh, nothing but turnips, it must be a festival. Ooh, a succus! Ooh! And she living! Oops, tail is living! Maybe not, but... Oh! Oh! Yeah, yeah, oh right, yeah, no. But Vivi might be in trouble because uh, we're in a bit of bubble with 160. Ooh. Oh, never mind. Right. Like, as soon as I was saying that, she went away. Like a ninja. Ooh, 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 yeah, love to see it, folks. You love to see it. Hopefully with, ooh, never can, hopefully with a randomness we might see a bomb, maybe not, but for Peach who knows at this point. Ooh, ooh, almost, almost, couldn't quite cover it, ooh, the Peach did. Ooh, so it's two to tail, but one to Vivi, who knows how this is gonna go. Oh! Oh! More umbrellas here than a... than a really deep. Oh, she's still doing that pencil sharpening move. I don't know what it's called. Oh! Oh, but bounce. Again with a down smash. That, that spread is just too much for people to handle. Oh! Oh, there we go again! Mm. Oh, she missed that one. 
but she can't throw. Oh, again with a down smash. Those threads, yeah. mu those threads must be made of metal or something. Oh <laughs> and Her Royal Highness wins this first match. Oh, we've been invited to Summit. Oh, yeah. Maybe one day. Um, we're going on. Ooh, we're going on a Battlefield Summit. We're going straight to the moon on this one. We have a lot. Oh, it's Rando! Ooh, we're going for a real. Ooh, we're going for a real showdown here, folks. Oh, green do green beans. Ooh. Ah, so we got Pokemon Trainer versus Incineroar. And I know Incineroar's had like a lot of good game at the minute, but uh, so far as we know, he's a bit middling. And especially against Ivysaur, if it's not careful, he's gonna get right down in there. Oh! He said he went right up. So let me. Oh, the classic. Ah, oh, but looks like not everyone's into the classics, I guess. Ooh. Oh, there goes Squirtle with the moon. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh. Oh, is he really going in there? Mmm, so is Incineroar. Mm. Ah. Oof. Oof. Yeah. Come on, Incineroar. You can make it back on stage. You gotta scratch that catnip. Ooh! 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 It's just about even, I guess. I mean, Incineroar's got Rage at the minute, so we can probably get a good beat on this one against Charizard. Ooh, the tip of the tail, he's probably just missing by a little bit. Ooh. Oh, there you go. Oh, there you go. Just going by the beak. Oh, and he comes in with a D. I would have not be there, but that's just my personal opinion. Oh. Oh. Well, we're getting close, folks. It looks like it's gonna be down with tail. Unless Vivi can, uh, Vivi loses another stock, it might go in evens, and it might just happen. Oh, oh! You love to see the classics, folks. Oh, but can they make it? Because it's going about even. A bit more in favor of tail. Oh, now it's even. Oh, here we go. Could be it. No. Just missed just miss the right time. But I just saw I just saw it's gonna be the main one I guess. Oh but then comes the Oh comes up Can he can he land a hit? No! Oh Oh but at least he landed a couple of hits. But it's getting around even folks, so it could land either way! It could land either way! Oh Oh, the lovely class. Oh! Oh, here comes Charizard, bringing in the heavies. Oh, and it was just enough. Oh! There's two to the tail, uh, none to Vivi. So Tail wins this round of lose. Oh, I guess it's going best of three. Not really sure how to do the scoreboard. Sorry, folks. The first time here. All right, we're going to the third round. And Mando's Ryu versus Rosalina and Luma. Ooh, this is going to be very good for us. Uh, these two, I know, can be quite are in the like uh, medium tier at least, or like a B tier. So we might see some good stuff around this time. Well, at least not from like what you normally see in the finals. Ooh, I know Rio's quite a bulky boy, 
and Rosalina and Luna can be, well, quite light, really. So, will we see Ryu uh, show you can this star right up to the sky, or will Ryu lose this final fight? Not the same game, I'm sorry. There's a dash attack, that's a my range that. I would have done the down B there, but that's just my opinion. Here comes the Kazookans. Oh, and he kicked that star right off the side. That won't, that won't be a stuff for, unfortunately. Luma's uh, Luma's uh, free of that. He's only a baby. Oh, but then Luma's got another one. Another one at the day, yeah. So, it's uh, free to... So Tails is losing by one. Hello, step. ladies and gentlemen. Oh, How are we doing oh. today? Hello. We are oh, uh, Miss of Sorry, Alchem. Alchem. She her. Keep it in mind. Yeah. All right. Ooh. Okay. Yes. For up smashing to keep the we'll get rid of the room. Really nice there uh, from the uh, Tail Tail Spring. Oh yeah, Tails okay. and Vivi. Yes. Oh, that was random as well. Ah, uh, you know, you know, Tail. Tail would always do that. Tail does a bit of a trick. So he's a bit of a oh, content yeah. creator. You know that. Okay, the back row really strong. Really? Putting Vivi into the. Oh, no, that's not going to be great for her. What is she doing? I know that Rosalina can be quite frail, but uh, Ryu can be a fairly quite... white character, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, Ryu... Ooh, and as we're saying, that Ryu can be quite the bulky boy. Really nice job on BB at catching the trip there and getting the forward smash. That's really good. Now, yeah. Hopefully, this won't be his last street fight. <laughs> sure, but the thing is, yes, Rosalina and Luma very light characters, oh. but in the right hands, you're not going to be able to touch oh, them. Yes, and I don't think Tail has the right hands for a Shoto character, I've never seen him play oh, Shoto, yeah. so I don't really especially, know. Especially and Shoto characters like Ryu can just rack on damage like that, 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 and oh, it's going yeah. to be deadly. Yes, of mm -hmm. And of course, oh, with, the more recent, oh, and with the more recent buffs, Ryu is, in my opinion, the better Shoto, going to kill so much sooner than he can. Oh, yeah. It's going to be devastating. Oh, I mean, nice forward Ryu out. Ryu has damage, but Ryu, into Ryu can lost a lot Sure. Alright. Uh, Didn't go for the light, went for the heavy there, really unfortunate. That's gonna be so minus. BB yeah. punishing that. Okay. Yeah, he's got the two separated, so we might see a bit of spacing going on. Unless, uh, oh, there goes another Ooh, one. Catching it really nice there from BB. Oh, hopefully, goes to the one at the daycare. Ooh, and there we go. Ooh, and there we go. BB not it. respecting uh, Tail's focus attack there. Uh, yeah. Let's focus attack is just a. Incredible like approaching tool in this matchup, especially unless the uh Rosalina is gonna be approaching with something like forward arrow like uh Luma now. Nah. Mm -hmm. Can Ryu even make it? Can he bring the star back to the observatory? Or will he just go straight to the game over? We don't know folks. Alright, sure. Ooh, getting the heavy sweep, that's really nice. <laughs> Trying to get Luma, but not quite fast enough with that donkey kick. She's Unfortunately. Got enough yeah, yeah, okay. Oh, the there sweep. she goes! Then the forward air, really nice. For that such a meaty move, such a heavy now hitting the move. Well, was there a chance? No, I think at this percent, uh, Vivi is going to play smart and more yeah. defensive enough. Getting oh, the that was a double hit as well. Jeez. That yeah, like most of the characters' moves. That was a uh, up smash out of shield. And that's free to Vivi. That Jay, that was not loser's on one, was it? No. Oh, okay. okay, I just got the use. When you press this, you go over here and you type in winners R two. No, this right here. Oh, I didn't even see that. It's right there. Oh, that's an intense game of rock paper scissors we can hear over there. Now, dear God, who do we have coming up next for you, ladies and gentlemen? I wonder who. It was more of a rhetorical question, my dear friend. I wouldn't. Yeah, who do you think's gonna? Who do you think's in the runners-up of winning this fight? <laughs> Callum. Callum's gonna win. Callum. What Callum is that? going to win. How do you know? Callum has won the most Newcastlevania tournaments of anybody here. Callum is going to win. The only, other, the only other people who could win would maybe be uh, BB. That's close, but in Callum's favor, you know, 55-45, maybe maybe 60-40. I don't know. And uh, I don't know. Maybe Neon Radish, you might get third, I guess. Hi, Neon. Hi, Neon. Oh, okay. What round is this? Semis. Winners. Semis. 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 We, nobody cares about that. Yes, but I thought I would mention to other uh, weirdos. Nobody cares. 
Okay. Alright, so we have. Honestly, uh, I'm more of a Dragalian. So yeah, yeah. Uh, Neon versus Neon yeah. Lito. I have no idea what character Lito is going to use. It could be Palutena. It could be. It could be Incineroal. It is Incineroal is a character which I hate. Yes, you got winner yes, semis, best of three. I'm pretty oh, sure. Yeah, uh, sure, Palutena sure. can also be quite annoying for our goal. Ah, oh, we're seeing Straight away, we're going into the light road Incineroar pick. This may be a bit of a counter pick because yes, Palutena can be pretty light. Incineroar is very heavy, very hard hitting, but I don't know how else to work out. It's uh, no, sorry, Lito mainly counter picks for Incineroar. Bit of a personal thing, I'd say. Not, re not really character dependent, at least from what I've seen. Look at the camera real quick, you see those lovely games. Alright, now, Lito isn't, isn't any gamer. Lito is just a boring little gamer man, and he is going to stick with PS2 unless his opponent says otherwise. Neon doesn't really care, he's going to say, say that stage. So, no real discussion towards the stage, really. Oh, I was picking this hand. No, Neon right, it would have picked this hand. And we're going to go with... Box! We're going in for a real animal fight here, folks. Getting the fiery Incineroar versus the quick and nimble fuck. Oh! Oh, wrong. Ah, uh, I didn't save but, it. Yeah, never mind. Never mind. Alright, now here we go. Ooh, okay, oh. Ooh. Straight away, Fox can be quite nimble, like I said, but like. Getting the tech chase, it's really clean. Oh, I don't know if you noticed that, mid, mid, midway through the combo, Lito was trying to go for the downbeat to try and escape, which is a really strong move because it just buffs and makes makes Incineroar such a strong, such a strong character. Alright, oh, okay. All right, sorry about the ladies and gentlemen. All right, we're getting the three announcers here. Folks, we're in for a real treat. Alright then, <laughs> we have been joined by my good friend Garugamish, a lovely to you, lovely person. Alright, sorry about that. Now we're going to be commenting the oh, actual game. Oh, we have the game. Incineroar. Yeah. Yes. Which seems to be more of a personal kind of pick rather than a character kind of pick. Definitely. Alright, mm -hmm. All right. All right. real territory wars here. Yep. Uh, so far, Light O is actually losing. What's the stock now? I didn't even see that. Oof. But uh, Neon Radish is at 132, so he could lose a life oh. just as quick. Great patience on Neon there to just kind of forward smash after the counter there. Mm -hmm. A lot of people may lose uh, control of their I don't know what I'm Lito can keep up in the, in okay, the up tilt, moment. up air, really clean. What we're going to see from this, what's a mix? Nothing quite. Oh, up tilt, oh, another one. Oh, and the up smash like... really wore it's such a fast option. It's going to kill super early on a lot of characters, yeah, even if you're a heavy boy like Incineroar. You got to really catch up. Ooh, oh, the down oh, smash to catch the roll. Yeah. Classic. Hello. I can find a chat. Sorry. Okay. Oh. Doesn't get the first. Okay. Okay. Cool. I don't think that's even a thing in this game. Oh, oh. no! Sad, sad, sad. Mm. Okay. You hate it, see Game folks. one, two, Neon Radish. Did you even know you could switch the angle on that? You can. Yeah. I, I forget. Such, such a shame for such a shame. Stay in PS2, of course. It's any. What, what do you expect? Right. Anything can go. Dear God. Oh, switching oh. it. Of course. Oh, I, I can't. Big guns I, I, I can't. I, I mean, can't be asked to change. Are, are you surprised? The cat's being oh, the oh, yeah. Cat's are you really surprised? Oh, didn't matter on the V. I, I, I don't care. I don't care enough to change so, it. I'm not going to So the cat's been reincarnated as a god. Who would have saw that coming? The goddess. Oh, but can the god take down the slippery little fox? Sure. Okay, great ledge pressure for that from Neon. You know, I kind of like the wait there from Callum, just wait, you know, yeah. waiting for an option. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, we saw this in game one here. Neon is really good at catching those early percent tech chases. Uh, it's not, did I say Callum? Neon, rather. Uh, it's catching really uh, good early percent tech chases in Fox. I love seeing that. Ooh, the jab punch. Yeah, his, his tech chase game is very strong. Yeah, I love seeing it. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. It's something you kind of need to have as a as a Fox player because that kind of, mm -hmm. like his combo game is okay, but his strength relies on like a lot of reads and kind of oh. connecting small strings together. Very true, very true. Got to do. I still cool. remember days where he wasn't as good at the start, but then it was like, what are you talking about? He's nothing changed. Okay, down throw. Not going to find the up there. Oh, 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 o
Okay. I like. I really like this pressure here. Fainting a right shock or a right shock. Oh, did, I think he was going for an up smash and that caused him to get mm. clipped by the explosive flame. That's really unfortunate. That uh, could have been it. Let's face it, a bit to the left. Oh, really I was gonna say, can this go naked? But no. Nope. Might okay. be going right back to the heavens itself. Okay. Nair train. Washing machine's on. Uh, oh, oh, neon's definitely neon. bringing on the neon. Oof. What does that mean? Can I see him moving? Oh, 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 more of that classic neon ledge pressure. We love seeing it. Game oh, no, 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 again. One. Oh, uh, no mix from that run, unfortunately. Oh, 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 so no, 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 no mix, uh, no need dough, unfortunately. Oh, okay, never from ledge really good. Same tactic with uh, most palatinas. <laughs> never from ledge is a really strong option that palatinas have. It just allows palatinas to get some free uh, like stage control and just, just stage to work with. Right now we can't see the game so. at all. Sorry, just nah, it's fine. Oh, yeah. Don't worry about it, gamer. There is okay. short sure? frames, but we're fine. No. Oh, okay. Okay, I'm gonna grab some. Yeah, come on, there's not fine. Oh, oh, we Ooh. might be getting what we wish, folks. It's Neon Reddish 2, Light oh. 01. Look at it, he's feeling himself. Look at that taunt, lovely to see. Mm. Okay, this in the back end, not quite good. Good guy on Neon's part, but this ledge pressure oh. is insane from Light oh, I love seeing this. Hopefully, Neon can make it through and rage to get. No, maybe not. Bro, in the back air. Oh. Good patience from Light Southbound. Oh, it's really awesome. you're not going to want the southbound on any of your moves. Especially if you're oh. right on oh, oh, Great oh, jump around the explosive flame. Oh, shield pressure okay. going on in there. Now, uh, now, you saw that earlier in the game. He's enraged now. It's a classic, classic uh, Palutena move. Just uh, nerf from ledge. Shut up. I'm, I'm doing my best. I shouldn't talk. I should not. I should be getting out of This is my first time. Ooh. Oh! Oh! Yes. All the SD Instead of going to heaven, she <laughs> went straight to heck. Oh, yeah, to see you, folks. But it's a Palatine main, so what can you do? So I'm that's get, two to Neon Radish and zero to Lito for this winner's so, semi. Can you uh, step off now? Yeah. Kept it warm for you. And that'll be me off, uh, off, uh, off announcing, and I hope you enjoyed my time. If not, I apologize. <laughs> hey, there you go. Okay, everything else should be going now. There's no set. I'm sorry, ladies and gentlemen, my friend is here. Oh. In an actual game. Oh. I've literally never like I training mode for ages. 
And the thing that's something about playing against heavies that just makes me chill out and have my mistake. So I go, who are you talking about? Like, you know what I'm saying? Zach and Dominic. Yeah. Was it you? Yeah. Yeah, because you played really and I played speed. And every time I hit you, I got 60. Yeah, no, maybe it's just you. Who are you really hitting? Yeah, I got Yeah, I got a couple of the platform and then I nared and I thought the nair would jab on Like I got we never it pushed him off and so I didn't react to it pushing him off. But I could have been literally like so fucking cool. But it wasn't. Instead it was kind of cool. Now, I'm sorry, ladies and gentlemen, for the dead air right now. We just have every single set being played off stream, and they're taking a while. You know, game free situations. So, we're just on a bit of a break right now. Go and grab a snack, go and grab a drink. You go and enjoy yourself. We're doing the same. Let's go, Neon Radish. We love that guy. I hear that on the mic again. I'm disconnecting it for the entire night. <laughs> <laughs> 
What's going on? I can't do nothing. I can't do what I said I can do. I'm not gonna do it. <laughs> just chilling. It's a dumb joke, don't worry. It's a million hands up, that's good. <laughs> it's the, the look, look, clap. look, he's a little, little, little dude. I really love Eddie Clap here. I love, little, I love him. He's a little game. Shout out to Evo. Shout out to Evo. Shout out to Evo. Shout out to last week getting third in Evo. Shout out to all the music they had at Evo. That was sick as hell. Oh god. That was so cool. <laughs> and then they released Bridget. That was awesome. That was based actually. I like Look, Bridget. We're gonna give you Tekken. That's the guy. Oh, cool. no, I'm get, so hyped. We I'm, know that they have I'm, a mod. I'm, no, I'm so happy though. I'm so happy. Like, you, you need to understand. <laughs> we have not had Tekken news for a, li for a whole just year. We're getting a new patch for Tekken! That's it! And then we're getting a new game. Come on, I'm so happy. I'm here I'm for so it. Happy. I'm so here for it. I'm so happy. Yeah, sure. Cheers. Come on, cheers. Oh, we have a score report. I'm talking about my kung fu. What? I can't talk. I know what you mean. Uh, oh no, Archer, get over here. Video game time. You don't want to go on stream? Uh, everyone doesn't want to go on stream. Come oh, yeah, yeah. right. Uh, Mitch said you might not want to go on stream. Sure. There's right. nothing else to go on stream. Okay, so. sure. I just thought you weren't a big fan of being on stream. I'm not, but if they're on stream, I can. I should join you. Cool. Oh, we are going to have. Oh, I'm sorry, Karen. No, I'm going to play games. Okay, I want to have some fun. Yeah, yeah, good idea. Uh, I cheesed. Uh, I cheesed Evan a little bit. Did you? I got the old um, dash attack into the gyro, which picks up the gyro into the forward throw gyro into side B, which killed at like 80, and he was nowhere near it. I, I zoned out there. <laughs> All I heard was you cheesed Evan. It was gyro side B. Okay. Yeah, so you know, you, you know it's bullshit. <laughs> it's wrong. <laughs> All right, I'm looking forward to this. This will be a fun set. This will be a really good set. Everyone's like been hard on the sort of what? Thank you. Yeah, everyone's been like hard on the leveling up, trying to play really good players all the time. Yeah, he's been on the Okay. Yeah, he's been on the grind recently a lot. Yeah. Not been entering many weeklies, but has been at a lot of them, um, playing a lot of friendlies, yeah. playing a lot of sets with people, grinding. Yeah, a lot. he's been asking for like proper series with uh, a bunch of the top players, and you know that's that's the, that's the thing you'd love to see. Yeah. Honestly. That's 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 the mindset. That's the best mindset. Yeah. Instead of me going fucking randoms. <laughs> Just checking. Sorry? Yeah, you play one. Cool. Alright. Tannin City, Roy Sephiroth, I presume. Yeah, I'm gonna assume we're gonna be seeing the Sephiroth from everyone. Oh, oh gonna... no, it is the Robin sick. You love to see it. Yeah, please. Um, Ah, uh, thank you. I'm <laughs> so bitch to find. <laughs> I'm so blind. Oh, Blue Robin. That's a good skin. That is a usually, good one. I like it. I am not on this set. Yeah, usually we see the, the green Robin from yeah. Airborne. But... Okay. Yeah, yeah. fair enough. Usually, we, yeah, usually we see the green robin. Yeah, that is that was the airborne. That's skin. the airborne color, but he had switched off of it. Yeah, I think airborne even showed up once in like a green jacket. He did just like, have the yeah. green jacket. Yeah, <laughs> that was like back in the Smash Four days. But the thing is, is he's same to me. He's he uses the green Sephiroth, so he doesn't use the green um, robin. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> you gotta keep the colors separate so they have different energies. Yeah. Yep. So that you uh, you don't waste your green energy on a, on a game <laughs> you're always with Sephiroth. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know we can all we we, we can all uh, understand the green energy. There is green energy. Yeah. It's like hydroelectric <laughs> power. <laughs> it's like solar power, and then you've got Robin and Sephiroth. That's a di very different kind of green energy, but still powerful. <laughs> All right, we'll, we can we can stop that Let's round. Go.
Alright, game one here. On town and city. Right, Ebon's, uh, Ebon had some control issues in front of us today. Did he? And yeah, his L button and his control stick were acting up a little bit. Okay. So hopefully that won't come into play. I mean, he's gone this far. He's, yeah, so I was going to say, he's made it to top eight, so... You know, something must be going right. Oh, oh Jeff just, smashed, yeah, but just, doesn't get the sweet spot. <laughs> interesting, because it did look like it would have been yeah. sweet spot there. But and that would have killed Yeah, probably. That, that probably would. <laughs> on, a to on a stage like this, yeah. yeah. Yeah, okay. now that uh, Jackie's been keeping Ebon like trapped in the corner there so well and managed to rack up a huge chunk of percent just from putting Ebon off stage and yeah. punishing all those recoveries. He's been, yeah, he's just kept him in the corner here, but we're seeing the opposite now, coming true here yeah, now. Yeah, things are turning around. And now Ebon with the corner control here, but it's kind of... It's, it's just... It's, it's, it's really just back and forth right now. Yeah. No edge guard. I think right. this, this game is this game is uh, in general is very corner heavy. Oh yeah, like the, you're putting people off stage. The, you need stage control. The the in this game. the uh, the stage presence in this game is like such a big thing. Yeah. Um, because it's so much scarier when your back is against the wall. Yeah. With how safe moves can be in this game, beautiful confirm. Like. You, the corner is such a scary place to be in, and also the fact that you can't dash you, through you can't, people. Yeah, you can't. Yeah, there's no escape option there. Yes. You have you have to go like above them jump or, or roll. Yeah. And those are both very committal options. Yeah. Characters like, especially characters like both of these, honestly, they're such so proficient at just keeping you locked in that corner. Yeah, but and just they making also it have a little bit of trouble getting out of it themselves and that's why we're seeing these disadvantage states just be the main factor of this game. We're not seeing much neutral, we're seeing disadvantage. Yeah, the, the neutral is disadvantage in this set right here. <laughs> okay, that's going to be a punish here. I'm not getting structured. Okay, stuck. Oh, that was just that a was covering yeah. the roll, yeah, I think. Oh, was it? Okay. Yeah, because, you know, when you, when you see that trap at the ledge, you're thinking you've got a roll. Oh, yeah, I see. I thought it was a mystical game, but yeah, that would, that would make a lot more sense. Okay. Wow, everyone's still living. That was some godlike DI. On this stage of all things. Oh, that's the Ebon classic. Yeah. You just you respawn, <laughs> you will get Nosferatu. It's a huge chunk of damage. Okay. Yeah. He's uh, been controlling Jackie's sort of airspace so well when, when Jackie's in disadvantage. And catching the landings. Using the using the projectiles to just wall out. He's also been covering the ground really well with yeah. these um short fares and the uh the neutral reforms. Yeah. I forget the names of them all, but you know. You know what I mean. Thunder, yeah. The thunder Thunders. forms. Yeah. You know, we're seeing like it's such a presence in this horizontal range. Yeah, one of the things I was noticing when I played Frenzy as well is that he absolutely mashes the hell out of these specials out of this Levin Sword because he actually makes the, the recharge look like it's not even an issue. Yeah. And it honestly, it doesn't feel like it. I mean, in this matchup, we, we've like, seen... I don't think we've seen the bronze once. <laughs> yeah. Let's look, here it comes again. No Thunder, no Levin Sword. That will do it oh at 60%! That was like 60%! Oh, I know! Oh, well, that fair will take the... Yeah. The DIR oh absolutely oh exploded Jackie there. Don't worry about it. It'll be fine. Don't worry about it. All right. Um, stay at the moment. Alright. Wait, is this best five? Three. Three. All right. All right. Well, that's horrible. Is that one yeah. one? That's one oh. Yeah. One oh. One oh. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, he plays the, uh, what's it called, doesn't he? Wonderful. I don't think it actually matters on no. the verses, does it? <laughs> no, it doesn't. The, the, this stuff is like, um, or, um, if you have the stock icon stuff, but we don't have that. Ah, uh, that's alright. Are Mike and Taylor allowed to wait for stream, or should they just play? Because, I mean, this is only game one, and the winner's finals needs to go on stream. Sorry? Winners finals can go on stream very late, though, to be fair. Yes. Yeah, okay. Wait, hang on. Um... I, they, they're ready to play. I say, oh, yeah, 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 tell them to play. Tell them to play. Oh, okay. Yeah. I was going to say they could probably do that. We've got. I'm just it's at 10 past 7. We're going pretty well. What the hell? And yeah. we're in, what? And we're in top 8. 
Yeah, yeah. we're in top eight yeah. at ten past seven. Smashville Town Hollow. Season pick or one? Um, no, no, not really. <laughs> Sorry. I'll tell you. I can tell you no. Now that you're back. Yeah. 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 But whatever. Okay, game two. Jackie's taken airborne to Pokemon Stadium. You know, good stage for Steve. Good stage for a lot of characters, but Steve, especially, because he gets so much material. Excuse me, so many good materials on that stage. Yeah. Now, everyone was practicing against my Steve earlier, but Jackie's Steve is a lot more tactical. Got a lot more like little, some little yeah. gimmicks <laughs> and different gimmicks. You know, gimmicks. There's, there's a lot. There's the a lot of them. Different like like playstyle quirks with that. Exactly. Yeah. Um. I will say, uh, no, the the red one Evan's using is mine. So maybe that is mine then. Probably. I didn't put it there. It just ended up. What kind of cable does it do you have? Is that is it that kind? Quite like that. Probably yours then. Take it. It's not mine. I don't care. All right. Yeah, Jackie is. He's been playing a very patient game now. He's setting up the walls. He's just waiting for everyone to approach. He's uh, not going for his usually quite aggressive playstyle with Steve. He is sitting back and taking it patient. Smart choice. Again, so, uh, well yeah. so far here. Because Robin, Robin really struggles to deal with Robin, the walls. Yeah, I was going to say, it's a hard thing to get through here, especially a character, character as slow as Robin. Yeah. We've got that slow ground speed, so stage control is really important. But you can't, you, you can't set up stage control when there's uh, walls and blocking your projectiles and your aerials aren't fast enough to deal with the yeah. uh, with the wall with the walls. So we're seeing the corner here, just get out of the ball. Ooh. Airborne Ooh. catching the landing, using the arc thunder really smartly. Jackie is eating through a lot of the resources on the first stop and that yeah. is kind of a big deal. Yeah. Because you want to have at least a little bit of your stone and your wood mm -hmm. and into the next stock, I feel. Okay, well, he's gonna get a chance to mine here. But yeah, that is. Um, yeah. I was gonna say, um. He doesn't have in, the diamond in, in general, the when I play Jackie's Steve, a lot of the time he ends up with like no resources on his last stock. Because mm. um, he kind of uses them a lot. Yeah. As you should, to be fair. I mean, you see Maze Beans doing really well with the amount of resources he uses. Um, but sometimes a little bit more of a conservative playstyle can work against players who have high pressure. Um, that is not the case here, so actually maybe <laughs> it's the right decision to spend all these kinda, resources. It's kind of hard to say because I could imagine it being very matchup dependent, but at the same time this yeah, is absolutely. this is a very odd matchup. It is. <laughs> it's not a matchup you see very often. Yeah. <laughs> not a character you see very often. There's the walls again, and yeah, Airborne is just struggling to get through them every time. Um, however, he's doing the smart thing. But, right, so maybe a hot take, but let Steve mine. What? It's his approaches that are his weakest points. So if he just mines, great. He's got diamond, great for him. But he's still got to get in to use that diamond. And getting through, um, well, you're getting through a good sort of patient, responsive playstyle play that tries to um, react yeah, to but, minecarts. You can actually just sort of beat them out. Yeah, but um, Jackie does not have a need to approach right now. That is true. Yeah, like, that is a very good point. <laughs> like you, you are correct. Je um, Steve's approach game is like. Not the best. He's a very good whiff punish character, but he's not the best at um, approaching himself. Yeah. But that doesn't matter when you don't need to approach because you have the lead, yeah. and you are the one forcing the Everyone other player to. Very smart. That is the that is the optimal thing to do. You've got to run into people to stop them from crafting that diamond, and that as a result, Airborne's actually oh, taken the punish. lead. Not for long, though. Diamond forward air. What the? What? No. Oh what? no! 65? What the? <laughs> that was so out of nowhere. <laughs> One air dodge read, and that's all Jackie needs. Oh. Really smart from Jackie. Wow. Really fortunate from Airborne. But he's definitely going to be keeping that in mind in game three. 
Those air dodges. Woo! That was looking quite scary for Jackie. It was, honestly, yeah. Like, it, everyone was evening up so well, reading his movement. Reading the spot dodge, though. I was, I was like, called out the spot dodge with the um, Nosferatu, and that was, like, so cool. So, oh, we're seeing the ah, switch to the Sephiroth. Very smart choice. Sephiroth yeah. does have a better matchup than yeah. Steve. I can imagine. You can, if you, you know, if you counter gold minecart when they're trying to recover, it can kill them at 10%. <laughs> That's that's quite funny. I like it. Yeah, actually, yeah. And Airborne um, was playing this exact matchup against me quite a bit earlier, so we'll see how it goes. I do like watching um, Airborne Sephiroth. I yeah. re I like the uh, the way he controls space with the, uh, the side B in that tilt. Side B, I love his side B use the, especially. Yeah. I was watching it versus Cactus, and it was just so good the way he was just forcing it, and then like like it made it so that Cactus couldn't do anything. Yeah, it's always pressure. It's really fast. And then it just sets up for a little bit of a scary situation when it comes at you because it, it gives you room to approach basically. And it for, like if if like even if you the opponent gets like set off off stage, you can't do anything because you need to be scared of the the, the flames. Mm. And taken and taken Steve to FD as well. This is actually I think a really good choice, um, making so he doesn't have any platforms to hide under. Yeah, he, and there's no he has to land. Yeah, is the big thing. And he has to land. And you know Anvil and Minecart. Really good landing tools, but they can be predictable. So can that help you though? Yeah. Heavy punish. And ends up getting the diamond as a result. A big commitment. Okay, the, what the a parry. 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 That was breaking shield maybe. Yeah, definitely. Without charge. Oh, no one's... Okay. Oh. Now we're seeing here. We were seeing Steve will have a hard time landing. But to be fair, so does Sephiroth. And we've seen that it as well. It is true. That is true. You know. Like what what does what does he do to land? Oh. Like, I really like the double jump there from Jackie before he did the side beat. Sort of reading the, the forward air catch. Is what is what everyone liked to do against me is that I would do jump side B yeah. and he would forward air. Okay. Perfect option. But Jackie, if he double jump, Jackie, then he yeah, Jackie it did the double jump before. Oh, I like that. And it's super smart because that ended up getting him a really nice space for him. Okay. You've got the Shadow Flares on you. Yeah. Sometimes the best option is just to take them. Yeah. Because depending on your positioning, they just won't be able to confirm off it and it'll just be able to reset to neutral without them putting like undue pressure on by grabbing you while you're in shield. Or or shield breaking, breaking you, yeah. And Jackie's parries, sorry, have been absolutely on point. Yeah, I was going to say, like, this defensive game we're seeing from him, this really passive play, really working out well for him. Ooh, that was scary. And we also, I was going to say, um, he also has a lot more resources in this game. Oh, actually, it reminded me, while I'm, <laughs> while I'm on comms, I want to just talk about a, a little interaction that happened between me and Airborne in a, in a, um, a friendly exactly like this. He did neutral get up into down tilt, so Sephiroth down tilt. Yeah. I did uh, Steve up smash, and the down tilt clanked with the scoop box. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a uh, that's silly. This game is silly. Oh, big damage! Yeah, the, when the forward air spike hits. Yeah, this is kind of looking scary for Airborne. He needs to close out the stock. Oh, shield not, not much point mashing. Yeah. Uh -huh. huh. yeah, Jackie was trying to read Airborne coming in to, to push him away from the diamond. I do like the option there because like a lot of people will just roll or jump it in those situations. Yeah. The best option usually is to up tilt them, but at this percent, I think that was the that was a good choice. I mean, what's like it's if you guess right, you win. Yeah, but exactly. if you guess wrong, you take like not much because yeah. what's going to happen? You're still invincible usually. <laughs> this is big. Keeping Jackie trapped in the corner. This is where Sephiroth excels. Oh. Elytra on the stage. Oh, oh no! Oh, the side. Oh. Oh, beautiful oh, patience from Sephiroth. I love I love that so much. That was, they both waited <gasps> so long out there. 
Can't shield, can't shield anything. Oh, that's and beautiful. That's what an ending to the set. Wow. That was so good. So <laughs> smart. I, I, I dig that. that so so good. smart from Eldon. Oh. What a set. <laughs> Your shield was nothing. You that was sick. Shield. That was sick. I didn't know it broke shield, but I thought it was broke. So, so. And I probably wouldn't have died. Well, maybe. I don't know. Damn, what a set. That, that was, was a good set. Really good <laughs> set. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Don't let me go Carlos, don't let me go PST, don't let me go FT. Yeah. Who's that? I mean, it's FT. FT is good against Steve, I think. Do you think? Yeah. Really? It's, well, in certain matchups, especially like ones where you can't get in super well. Yeah, that's, to be fair, that was annoying. Yeah. Yeah, but there are two mining pools between to get Okay, Mike and Isaac now on stream? Yeah. I think. Mike and Isaac? Well, that seems like good, but... Um, that, was, that was a really nice shield break to end up. I think they might be I'm just thinking because, um... If we have... Oh, okay. If we have that, on, if we have that now... Yeah. Then these two can play off stream and then we'll go to the semis. Okay. Yeah, sure. Because I do think there might I be a reset. A I do idea. think there might be a reset this week. Possibly, yeah. I mean, there's a chance. <laughs> yes, you're saying that I'm going to get reset by Kellum. <laughs> No, I'm saying. No, yeah, I understand. Yeah, I understand. I'm saying, no, like, I'm saying like, there's a chance. It's fine. Yeah, that's what yeah. I always want. Like, guys, I really. Oh, by the way, I'll best if I. It, I mean, it is, it is winners finals. I know that's what I was being facetious. Okay, I, I'm, I'm tired. Please leave me alone. I wasn't leaving you alone. You came in on that. <laughs> Henry, play a one. Oh, we're seeing Rafalco. And we're seeing... Okay, we're seeing Falco and Steve here. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. No, no, they just forfeited game one. Easy. That's the best one. Yeah, best Falco car. Okay. Oh wow, it just gets yeah, get the bird off stage and that might okay, good tech. Oh I love the jump to get over the grab. Still off stage though, I'm just on the other side now. And this is a scary This is hard for Falco, kinda hard for him to get off the ledge. He does have that really high double jump, so he can be he can kinda get out of it that way, but it can still be really difficult. Goes for the up for up tilt back air. Not gonna kill at this percent obviously. But it's still gonna be good damage. You might wanna not use that because it can stale the up the back air. Okay, mashing. And the untackable. 
Uh, Jay making quick work of that first stock. Oh, just, just grab him out of the side B. Falco does not work. Okay, I, I, I do love these full hops here from Neon. Using them to go over the grabs and punishing them. Steve, a character you can actually whiff punish the grab from with a jump because it's quite slow. Not something you see that often. Now, that's going to be the stock. No, really good DI here from Jay. Avoiding that mix up. That is a 50 50 situation from Falco, with, depending on if you go left or right, depending on which side of the up air you get hit on. Um, so, good stuff to Jay to not get mixed up there. But this is still a scary situation either way to be fair um, but that's going to be the stock there 190 you do want to be taking those stocks a bit earlier as Falco Falco strolls in the neutral fire so you do want to make it count when you get those hits and rack up as much damage and get the kill as early as you possibly can of course he does not struggle in those kind of aspects it's getting those hits that he does struggle with but against a character like Steve it's probably a bit easier to get in on him we're seeing he's making quick work of the second stock from Jay hello Isaac here to see if the Neon Radish versus Meevee ma matchup has improved at all since the last occasion. Because when they last fought, Neon went up at one or two games using Fox and Falco on Phoebe's Rob, and then the Steve came out and it was over. Yeah. Like Phoebe swept with Enderman. This one is a lot closer on yeah. the evidence of things so far. It's been a very close game. Um, Neon did have struggle taking that first stock. Jay was at like 190 when she got up smashed. But after that, like it's been very even. You know, he even it right back up on the second stock, wrecked up a lot of damage and took the stock quite early there. And yeah. Oh, the up tilt though, not hitting Enderman from behind. A that bit of bad luck there. Yeah, the hitbox on it, not great from behind. Oh, oh that's so living. sad. No, no, like, I guess the gold weapon is out from Vivi, so that's still... Is it gold or is it wood? That's I think that's wood, gold. So. Oh, well, wow. don't use the sword then, basically. Just use down smash and down air to take game one. I think um, you saw there, the, the fair hit, which spiked um, Neon, and then he did up B. So I'm guessing, okay. I think he tr thought he was off stage at that point. Right. And then that's when he got with, hit by the, the down smash. Alright, game, but game one going to, to Vivi there, going to small battlefield. Yeah, and I just really want to see what Neon does to adapt to the meta's biggest threat, because I do think Falco might be a little smarter than Fox at the moment. Like, yeah. sure, we've seen plenty of top Steve's demolished by light just getting the speed through before the blocks have even been built. But unless you're really good at the matchup, I feel like you prefer Falco's jump height and the jump like, height disjoint hit. on the reflector is a nice thing through blocks. Um, <laughs> just aerial combos in general, that's where you want to keep Steve in the air. Same goes for most characters, but we're going to send them up right now, so a good little start for Neon. Yeah. I was going to say, the jump really helps um, when Steve tries to build a wall. You can use Falco's really good jump to kind of get over it. Mm -hmm. And he's, he's been using... Um, Full hops really well to avoid Ooh. the grabs from Jay. Very unlucky to miss with that forward air though. It almost certainly would have killed in that position, but just jumping a little too high around it. But there, oh, that could have been a down air to up smash already. Maybe not building the blocks quite tall enough. Two blocks aren't going to do that much. You need at least three wow. to truly be a wall. Uh, Falco can reflect the minecart, which is a nice thing to keep in yeah, mind. Yeah, it is. Too. That's a really strong. And much more option. dynamically than Fox at that. Fox has got to stay still to do it while Falco can jump and reflect her and still move towards. But he can't deal with that back air. No one can. No. But I right, smashed her even things right back up really quickly. Keeping things so close here. Dup, 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 waboosh. Okay. Quick Noticing 15. that the sword was about to break. I really like Phoebe that. Maybe he did the F smash early. I do like that from Jay. The awareness to do that was so yeah, good. I wouldn't have noticed my sword was about to break. That was... Is there like a signifier or anything? I will have to ask her after that, because that could be real Steve knowledge for me. They could also just be the fact that the F-Smash didn't connect on the first stock and the Neon shielded it, so she might have just wanted to go one early anyway. Okay. It happened to be the perfect choice. However, 
Neon has it. No, he oh, had a that. punish opportunity, but faced the wrong way with that grab. And now we've really got the gold weapons out. No joke this time. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay. Off we go then, Linear Ricker. No, actually, double oh. jumps back with the forward. I do like just going to take it anyway. I do like that recovery, but it does get snuffed down. There. We see here, though, up throw up. Uh, the stocks have been reversed so quick in this set. It may continue in that Oh, set. just like pixels off from that up smash, F smash, I think. Whoa. And that shield getting so low. Okay. Oh, We're things seeing... are getting worse for Neon Radish right now. And shields the minecart, but gets command grabbed anyway because it was moving that slowly. Just one of those depressing little things. And what? And actually, I thought it was going to happen again, but no, a perfect up smash. Neon knowing exactly when to fire the trigger. That was really good. Surprised to see Falco's up smash actually working for once. <laughs> yep, that's a Falco main on the mic right there. <laughs> No. Well, I've got a Rob main for me on, on <laughs> camera as well, which is just not using it, and understandably so. Mm -hmm. Why go Rob against Falco when you could go Steam? Oh, wow. And there indeed, Steam! Steam. Enderman! Enderman! Goes two games up. But that's alright, because, uh, Steve. No. you know, Neon can... Uh, yeah, do you reckon, no, do you reckon the Falcon's going to stay, or do you reckon the Fox is going to come? Uh, yeah, it's been going close enough. Yeah, it's um, been quite close. But Foxy yeah. really, Neon's the type who likes to play warmed up as well. Mm. And just switching to Fox now, I think would be too little too late. So, yeah. let's get it. We could have the reverse 3-0 still. Uh -huh. Oh my, the back air, wow. The front oh. air the front. version. <laughs> wow. And now he's catching wow. with the back of the up tilt as well. Oh. We've just... He's Snuck jungles. in all of these rear hitboxes to make things sad for oh. Neon Radish. Yeah. These juggles from Jay are really good here. We only Falco. have a little bit of iron left though. I think we've got one minecart left. It was an anvil it. instead. So Neon can take some solace in knowing that the metal has depleted. Not anymore. There it is. Oh. There it is, and it's got oh. the kill basically by de facto. It was a it was a guise for that forward I, That was such a good thing there from Jay. I really, I really do like that. Uh oh, Knowing, cause, cause, uh -oh. Uh -oh. oh that's no. your stock. Oh, no. Winner's I, I was, side life for I, Neon Radish then. I was still talking about the previous stock. <laughs> Jay. Oh, God, no, no, not going to reach into himself. Oh, 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 oh. oh. Falcons. Don't do it again! Please, please don't, don't do it again! Okay, <laughs> okay, getting away with his life, but things are looking miserable for Neon Radish right now. Here okay, we go! Doesn't, doesn't intercept the side B, but this is still an awful situation here. That's not going to be the... Never mind, the up tilt will take right. it. I think Trying the, to jump, I think. I think the, so, uh, Jay was expecting DI. the back air there. Initial DI does That's why the DI was not looking yeah. too great for that up there. And there's a, a better back air. Whoa, Anvil! That could have, okay, the metal's gone again. Takes some moment to breathe, Neon, and try to just straight two stock her now. Okay. Oh, that twist to use the reflector to stop the up B pattern for some reason it didn't. I think work. that was um, to try and snuff a side B. Yeah. Yeah, it still should have put a hitbox box out to stop the up B, oh, but instead, Falco going to plummet to his demise and once again, BB squeeze. You see Jay taking that 3 0 over Neon Radish. Enderman completely clearing house for Vivi. In the grand finals, perhaps waiting for Lito, so, maybe a bit of doggy on the Now I can talk about that Neon first stock situation. You can. I can I can talk about that first stock situation <laughs> the now. Back arrow tilt. That was so unfortunate. <laughs> uh, so, yeah. Ban uh, yeah. Steve. Oh, uh, Ban Steve. Who is Lito against? Evan, Evan. Oh, Evan, right. It's alright, it's Evan. Doggy underscore. Oh, Ex-Pelly Lover, sorry. Who are you going to play? Oh. It's, sorry, am I up again? Z-Pelly Lover. No, no, not yet. Okay. You're, you're in Loser's final, so yeah. Okay, I know this is Loser's final. And then this is right, uh, uh, Loser's semi. Yeah, so something I was trying to say before was um, the fact that Falcos love to use double jump reflector a lot. Mm -hmm. um, I should know. <laughs> 
Um, and Jay really hard called that out by using the minecart and then snuffing it out with the fair afterwards. That was really, really good. What do you mean? What do you mean? Now I'm interested to see if X Belly Lover can do it again. <laughs> Here he comes to take on Lito. Bowser Jr. Palutena. What for? Green Sephiroth. Um, it's green, I think we're going to blue, but Austin went green and yellow. Sephiroth must be the main one. Green Sephiroth. Green Robin. Sephiroth, topless Sephiroth, right? No. It's green Sephiroth. Sephiroth's not green. Green Sephiroth, yellow. It's barely green, but it's green. It's like... It's covered in one more. It is green Sephiroth. Yeah. Oh, I didn't bring it. Oh, no! I am a... Bruno, Dana, Rapala, Green Sephiroth. Oh, yeah. I did bring some game repellent. Um, but yeah, that's probably more. Okay. I think more of themselves. I was like, green, yellow, you're going to be. Green, 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 Technically, I won a game with Peach today, but it was I'll in put a random ran I'll put random one for you as well. It would probably count if I won that set, but I didn't, so... <laughs> so we got headphones, I You have cables now over here. Because the Bluetooth headphones are the cable. No. Oh, the next one is here. Mine, now Evan, mine only work wired with one ear. Yeah, yeah, I've got bad ears, so I can't hear it this one anyway, so, yeah. Well, if ever you're in Yorkshire, I'll recommend you a good ear clinic. <laughs> All right, Belly Lover has been hit by an auto reticle to start things off. Lito says, I don't want to aim, let's automatically hit my opponent. And you know what? It's going swimmingly. There's the invincible backer already to gain a bit of a sizable lead. Oh no! 
Doesn't hit with the down air either. That was supposed to kind of lock on the platform or at least get some extra credit. Bowser Jr. down air does a lot of damage when you can get the whole thing in. You don't usually get the whole thing in. But when you're on a platform situation, sometimes it can happen. But sometimes you just get back aired at ledge. Yeah. And bye bye, so Ellie Muller. I tried to jump out of it, but didn't. No, he wasn't there. Actually, going for the nearly exploded Mecha Cooper, that was kind of brave. Lito got one instead. I do. I love the extension of like, items like that. It's so cool. But unfortunately, oh. this game has been almost a hundred percent disadvantaged state for X Pelly Lover. Things are not looking brilliant right now. The reflector coming in just as a reminder that you can't throw things willy nilly. But I'm almost less scared of the reflector than I am of Palutena's dash attack that can just pick up Mecha Cooper without taking any damage. Well, all characters can do stuff like that to be fair. Like, if you time it right, you can just kind of go through attacks like Palutena that. Palutena doesn't have to time but it, though, because she's got a shield in yeah, front of her. I suppose it's true. Explosive Flame doesn't go for the smash in, but though, so it didn't actually find its mark. I love the way Evan's using this level to be, oh, I'm not talking to you, it's very difficult. Kaboom! Explosive Abandoned Ship is the name of the move, if you want, but... Uh, the fork is instead going to deal the job. This has actually been a really nice little sequence from x Lover, knowing that he's been basically a whole stop down. Very much at a matchup disadvantage as well. He's just been straight up playing well to make sure he can bring it back. Okay. I do like the idea that from Kylo Ren. Ah. Calling out I do like, I was going to say, I do like the idea that from Kylo Ren. But instead we get the cannonball putting some pressure on, actually forces a double jump so Penny Lover goes for his back air, but had to get clipped by the explosive flame in the process, so a very unique way to trade moves. Goes for the side B again, no chip, no way back to the stage for X Penny Lover on that one. Just a really unfortunate angle off the side of Pokemon Stadium 2 is going to cost ex Pelly Lover Game 1. But the day resumes. We've even got a nice VV watching behind us now too. Eyeing up who's going to be in uh, Grand potentially. Lido here off the back of beating Chet Hank Hill. He's got fifth place at the weekly two weeks in a row now. Oh really? That's Was it. seeded to do so on this occasion but did not lose when he wasn't supposed to, so... Wait, he was seated at seated fifth? Seated sixth, seated yeah. Fifth. I just have Jackie and Chad and Kill, fifth and sixth. You'd love to see it. Tail seventh? That's pretty high. It is. Could have been even higher if uh, if you just didn't well, zero to death me at the start of the trade again. You were, you were again. ten, so... <laughs> this yeah, week was hard to see. Yeah, no, understandably. <laughs> this week was so hard to see. Yeah, I was kind of surprised by how low LNL was, and then, sure enough, he lived up to your expectations entirely. But living up to my expectations right now is Lito with two nares in a row, connecting onto the poor Cooper child. Auto reticle, everything's finding its mark right now. Yoshi's story, I don't know if it's to maybe get some better down air extensions on a platform or just kill a little bit sooner with the jab. I'd be interested to know why why it's a preference for our Bowser Jr. player, but I can't give you that information right now. Honestly, with the type of person I feel like he'd pick, pick it just because he likes the look of it. Yeah, or just knows that the music will annoy Lito. Because, <laughs> I mean, we are, we that, are that getting... Would, uh, that would be an Evan counter pick. The one we're getting right now is very much an unbanger. Well, that was a banger of M Smash! Yo! And up a stock is X Pally Lover just goes all the way and does it. The thing is, Jab probably would have killed anyway yeah. and it would have been quicker, but why not just say, Close Yeah, I can hit you with whatever I want? That was such a, like, it sends a message, is the thing. And weighing on, really good patience there. Yeah. Doesn't go for the up throw. I think, you reckon there's too much rage to get a combo there? Or something? Yeah, not too sure on that one. Um, there's the Mecha Koopa. Re grab though. Oh, up smash! And grabs the Mecha Koopa, stops it from exploding when he re grabs. So that's why he was so willing to go for it before. Interesting that it stops the timer. 
when it's in the hands of Bowser Jr. himself. Oh, well, I guess that technically counted as hitting Bowser Jr. on the body rather than the cart. I didn't expect it to kill. Bowser Jr.'s whole mechanic is that hits to the cart do less damage. Hits to the body, well, they do less knockback. To, not as damaged, yeah. It's less a, damage to the cart, knockback. more damage knockback. to the body. But well, it's not damage, it's knockback. I'm not sure about that. We'll have to check. Um, but I know that when, when it overlaps, in Smash 4 it used to prioritise the body and do more knockback stroke damage. Yeah, and in ultimate, now it prioritises the cart. So that explosive no, flame should have no, no, changed for ultimate. No, it didn't. Like, I'm pretty sure it didn't. You've given me two things in a row that I straight disagree with. I'm going to do my fact checking while you commentate this set. Okay, so, uh, wanna, I want his last off here. Let's get a heavy last stage. And, okay, just move it to punish fire. A throw, doesn't get punished, but uh, we're going to let him get it either way. Okay. Uh, if he held that just a little longer, that probably would have exploded on the Mega Kid. Yeah, so this last bit. Bowser Jr.'s Junior Clown Car Hurt Box takes priority over his body hurt box as a change from Smash 4, meaning now if the opponent hits the Clown Car and the body hurt boxes at the same time, he takes less damage. Oh. So it's damage and it's prioritising the cart now, okay. which is the change from the previous game. It was always damage, kind of brings knockback with it as well, but yeah, it used to prioritise the body, but not anymore. That yeah. is a intentional buff oh, for okay. Ultimate. So. Didn't actually know that. Oh. But you can't buff everything. Bowser Jr, no hitbox above him with his recovery, didn't even get the chance to try. Just the leg sweep from Palu straight down, send Bowser Jr to the depths. Oh, oh. things are suddenly coming up light -o. Series of reads in a row to get X Pelly Lover up to 64%. Doesn't go for the jab at ledge either, just realises a little too late. I think at that point he was already doing the ledge, but that might have been stopped there. Yeah, there it is. Um, game, two boats here. We'll see what stage counter picks come out from Lito this time. I am not a man possessed by a demon, said Jesus, but I honour my father and you dishonour me. I am not seeking glory for myself, but there is one who seeks it and he is the judge. Very true, I tell you. Whoever obeys my word will never see death. Damn. Is that a Palatina quote? Jesus went hard, yeah. <laughs> I, 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 I found um, the Gospel of John. Pitt, you must find the death. judge. And this one, this is the one that has the death and uh, the death of Jesus and the rebirth of Lazarus. I like Lazarus. Is this just an excerpt of the Bible then? Yeah, it's the Gospel of John. I just found it on a park bench and I was just like, yeah, sure. I can now pull it out like when I say, hi, I can meet Jesus. Probably left that for you there on purpose. Uh, yeah, they probably did, but it's not working, so... Like, well, you've made Jesus very sad with that information. <laughs> It's like the other thing I always carry with me. I always carry in my wallet a part three. Yep. Seen that one whipped out before. Yep. All right, Bowser Jr. and Pal Lutina once again. One one is really interesting to see what will change from here on out. With the Pokemon Stadium two, will decide. Nah, nah, nah. Explosive flame, auto reticle misses, so that's the end of the sequence. That is the true Lito flow chart. He loves to go for that exact sequence. We'll mix it up from time to time, but that's like the purest version of his combo. We did see a different version of it earlier where he read the eyeballs with the, for the explosive flame. But either way, it is always very similar. Just variations of that combo, and it kind of works to be honest. But it's working out a little bit better for x Pally Lover overall. Just playing solidly on the defense. The jab does not connect into its finishing blow. Lito mashing all the way to the right on SDI and gets away with it. Evan in turn wanted to keep the jab going to get to just the right percent for a kill. Unfortunately, it costs him the kill in the end. But nevertheless, holding on to a nice 
I won't say comfortable lead, but a lead nonetheless. It is a, it is a lead, but this, probably, because this could go either way right now with these percent. You know, a lead at this percent. Oh, 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 off you go. I, wouldn't, I guess the grabs and throws probably count as hitting the clown cut, unless they just do neutral damage. I, 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 I was wrong twice in a row, I'm not yeah. going to say. <laughs> Fair, I will ask you, mate. <laughs> yeah, this time connecting to itself, and that's a kill for x Pally Lover, but living on a prayer already. 149, just barely not getting clipped by the autorecord. Oh, actually swings aggressively. Doesn't get the hammerhead. Only hits with the stick, so it does 12% only. But that's a hit when you didn't expect one. I'll go straight back into his own Mecha Cooper. I thought with the down air out, it might have just drilled into it and broken it, but I'm learning a lot about the Mecha Cooper in the middle of this set. This is why I commentate. If I, I don't learn anything by playing the game. <laughs> I learn loads by watching it though, and then forget it when I'm ready to play again. <laughs> when we get the knowledge drops on comms, that's when it comes out, ready to play. Hire me. Up smash, not quite. Out, goes for the full run before starting the neutral air, just to make sure that the follow-ups would last a little bit longer. I think with that, was catching the Evans like defensive option there. Oh, we... Wait for the roll in. Raito's doing all the correct stuff right now. Wow! Must have been some shaky initial di on that one. Like it was a, it was quite a slow uh, departure. He clearly fixed his di afterwards, but it was just a little bit too late. And now Lito just gonna run with it. 40% only because most of the hits were to the bottom of the cart. In fairness. Uh, not the complete combo, but you can just shield and the Mecha Cooper will it, drop it dead. Just, it just goes away after you shield. Well, like, something a lot I'm going to hit you, shield. Ugh. Sorry. Get him next time. Okay, jumping over the Mecha Cooper. Double jump's gone. Caught in the nair. How are we going to get that? Oh, Lito actually gives it up to shield. The abandoned ship swing. That was really smart from Calum because I knew Evan wanted to get on stage with that up I just kind of let him because he knew he could punish it. Ooh! Getting out of danger, that down smash could have been perfect, but instead the day will carry on. That jab not quick enough, would you believe, in a free down smash for x Pally Lover. It's still not enough to kill. Much to the dissatisfaction of the Pally Lover himself. We'll keep just throwing more things until eventually the chink in the armor will be found. No to the grab, no to the jab. Okay, we're gonna get a forward throw. Full, that could have been reflected. I'm surprised Lato didn't go for it. Okay, oh, not only did he do the spin out for a quick kill, but he canceled it pretty much immediately. I don't know if it was a trade or if he just jumped out of it somehow. Like the, the spin out just completely canceled. Bye bye, Lobby. Good to see you. Bye bye. Well, it's lobby. good to see Everyone some Lito explosive goodbye, flames. Lobby. Game two, game three, actually. Game Makes three. it 2 1 in the favor of the goddess. <laughs> Next, Pally Lover must play from behind if he wants to stay in Newcastlevania 42. Going back to Yoshi, it seems. Yeah, if in doubt, go to the one you won on. Lemmy! It's going to be a surprise change of characters, kind of. I do like the yellow. Lemmy's one of my Koopalings of choice, I would say. I don't think Lito expected that Nair to hit either, so no. No answers from either. Oh, jumps not there. I'm grateful we didn't just see an immediate zero to death off the back of that missing jump. It's, instead, we get more gaming, but Palatina just hitting from behind. Yeah, exercising the privilege right now. Oh, empty hop as well, waiting for the landing option from X Pelly Lover. Doesn't actually get one, but uh, like the the opportunity was there to. Land an attack he'd set up by himself. Now, are we going to see a down tilt? No, knowing that x Pelly Lover was going to swing with those up airs. One of the better attacks you can possibly do from ledge. 
That was a fun little uh, emergency combo inventing itself. Mecha Cooper just stopped dead by the explosive flame though, just thrown into the sun and a sour spot on the, ex on the ships. On the abandoned ship, Swing. I do need a better name for that. It is the swing of a move called Abandoned Ship, but that's an awful thing to call. I can't even call it a hammer because on, on Lemmy it's not it's a, a hammer. Wand. Hit him with the wand! Hit him with, Hit him with the stick! <laughs> well, maybe we'll see the stick come out later and not the Lucas oh. one. Oh, we'll see a down smash in fantastic form. <laughs> exactly. Came in like a wrecking ball and the rest of the reference. Okay. Yikes. The DI from Expelli Lover in this game has been unfortunate, to put it politely, on two or three occasions at this point. It's always been catching him doing something, I think. It's a thing. Like, these options have come out so quickly that he's not had the time to DI. <laughs> no jump here. Okay, just get on. So now waits for a, almost waiting for a roll there, but it wasn't going to crawl. It was a little too telegraphed. So finding his way back to centre stage is X Pelly Lover fighting with a relatively small deficit. Definitely a doable one, but just the last turn there again. Is he not? Oh, that could have been a stick moment, maybe. <laughs> okay, shielding the full net does not get a punish, but yeah. oh, the stick is unleashed, but. The air dodge from Light Oak, perfect to get out of that situation. So now we just have tentative stuff. Mecha Cooper coming in clutch. Hello. Yo, my goat, I got you. Oh, and another one. That's so shit. Okay, there's not going to be as good. But just keep them off. Yeah, really good coverage right now of Lito's. Very horizontal recovery. Bang. Living though, I think that time it did prioritise the cart indeed. Maybe it did all along, but now we're really seeing the effects of it. But the back air will clean house no matter what. Either one, one solid hit here from Pelly will take the stock. Just whether you can find it or not. I thought I'm not going to lose it. Mecha Cooper in hand. For Lito once again. There's only one stop left on x Pelly Lover's tournament campaign, but this isn't gone just yet. The dash grab, though, is going to put him in a pesky situation. Lots and lots of air dodger ways from Evan in this one, but it did work that time. The back air is going to seal out. Expect one more stop. Oh, here we go, though. Felt like it was going to be the start of something bigger. Unfortunately, not converting into a, uh, into a landslide. So, more neutral yet to be won. But on home ground, there's definitely plenty of hope just yet. Yeah, absolutely not over just yet. Good evening, like, you know, this game is very evening. I think you're consistent with the people that are doing Okay, now the centre stage belongs to Lito. They were both worrying about whether or not they should do it, so Lito just said, all right, I'll have it then if you're not going to defend it. And now the centre stage will instead be X Pally Lover, but Explosive Flame can just steal it. Simple as that. And now that we're nearing those kill percents, X Pally Lover's got to be extra careful. Lito has a bit more room to wiggle with. Recovering really well in that situation, but down throw will set up an edge guard. I've been mean, jumping out of these guards every single time. Such a good weight on the recovery though, and a little sour spot stick once again. I'm so interested to see! No! The air dodge and just he had to swing early. Didn't expect that kind of height. The F smash has stolen the life of X Perry Lover. It just barely didn't scrape its opponent and then the back air was just there for the taking. That is hugely unfortunate for X Pelly Lover. I think we're all a little surprised and taken aback by that one. But sometimes silly stuff happens in Super Smash Brothers and the day will continue. Lito will next be fighting Neon Radish. I'm just gonna leave it. Hello Isaac, how are you doing? God, what a sight.
Oh, well, I have no idea. Now we have Neon Radish and Lighter will lose its I'm going to check finals. on the bracket real quick. Okay, you have some of that. Now, I don't know if you were watching uh, earlier, ladies and gentlemen, but Lito, uh, sorry, Neon was the one that sent Lyo into losers finals in the f or into losers in the first place. So this is a bit of a run back. There's going to be a bit of beef happening right now. What is going on? Check this out. What, what am I checking out? Yeah, I got a hello. Are you looking for a part-time job now? We provide sales goods services for Amazon. You can get a stable income of ten dollars to two hundred dollars in just one hour a day. I got something like that, but it was an, a Japanese woman speaking Italian to me. And do not like, need to pay any deposit or membership fee, regardless of gender. Yeah. Do you, is that normal? Do you, do you have to pay a, a, a membership fee if you're a woman? I'm a child. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, but I've, yeah, I've been added like, it's like five people in this group chat. Wow! No, there's like, even more! Look at all those people! Oh, I'll lose it. I'll be very upset. Evan, your hair always looks amazing. Thanks. Oh, oh fuck off. I can't I mean, we saw the incident. Uh, uh, Alright, so, ladies and gentlemen, we saw the incident earlier in the previous set that Neon and Lito had. I got on the show, yeah, this fine. But everything's good. Going into it immediately. Got the headphones on. Get in the game. In the, in the game. PS2 on the start. What's gonna happen? What's the mix? Alright, who's gonna approach first? Typically, it'll be. Oh, no, getting the command grab. That's 25 off the bat. That's gonna be. Forcing Neon to pull on the back foot for the majority of the set. 51, that's not great for Neon. Light all this ledge pressure. That now is really good. Pushing Neon back to the corner. Okay. Getting the grab. Okay. Fortunately, not getting the confirm from that dash attack there. And Light oh, Oh, Light got Rage 1. Is it, is it Rage? I'm not too familiar. If one of you in chat can tell me what the name of uh, Incinerum's down is, that would be lovely. Alright. Ooh, up there? Oh, up tilt, sorry. Ooh, light oh, too far down for any recovery of Incineroar. Revenge, thank you very much, Wicket, big fan. Even stocks, even game. Let's see what's gonna happen. Alright, ooh, down out, no confirm, I feel unfortunate, and the illusion into set stage, which is a really strong tool for uh, Neon, especially in this matchup, because it just allows you to move so much faster than your opponent. Grab. Ooh, 21%, that's meaty as hell. Okay. <laughs> I, just, I can hear somebody uh, sing the lyrics to the Lincoln Park, dear God. Alright, ooh, we have checks in the chat. Big fan of the Incineroars. Ooh, back for us. A lovely move. It just sends it such a really nice angle for a character like Incineroar to capitalize off. It's a a uh, sorry, Incineroar as a character is not one to go off low from ledge to try and get an edge guard. But maybe you'll jump up high and get like a neutral B or a Nair. Those are the options. Ooh, no grab. And punishing with the up smash is really strong for Neon, giving him a stock up. And especially at 82%, I don't think there's not much that Lito can do to make it even. Ooh, more up tilts. But the revenge is on deck. Not reading the roll, unfortunately for Lito. Okay. That's a mix. That's a mix. Neon fighting his way back to center stage, and Lito just shoving him back in the corner. Hello, how. Would you like to chat shit on the mic? Yeah, with me? I mean, I just saw that Hungrybox and Akola might play each other at that's SmashCon. Oh, that's funny. Wait, yeah, no, that's imagine. Most, I don't know the other names, so that's most likely going to happen. The pop off. If he beat Akola, he's not going to. He's not going to be Akola. <laughs> oh my god. That would just. Oh, yeah. Neon is fighting for his life right now. Dear God. Like, even, like, with, with Rage, with Revenge, all these things in Sonora can have, this is just going to be a scary fight. Even though Neon is in the lead right now. Oh, Neon. The Revenge? revenge is, oh, this is huge. Yeah, very true. With Rage and Revenge. Beautiful oh. play. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Good catch. Yeah, catching the jump with the grab. <gasps> oh, no. Revenge. Oh, no. No Trump. Yeah, this is scary. Like, Lito plays stage really well with Incineroar. That is, like, the number one thing that he does. He is so good at zoning, spacing himself out, mm. trying to accommodate for your burst, burst options. Mm. Very weird that the Incineroar, oh, sorry, not the Incineroar player, the person who's playing Incineroar is zoning out. It's very funny. It's true, but it's, it's a bit funny. Against the Rushdown character? Yeah. Yeah, true, you kind of have to. But, mm, I mean, the classic fighting game thing of, like, grapplers beat Rushdown characters, so maybe... Mm, I don't know. This isn't a classic fighting game, so those rules don't apply here. It isn't, yeah. There's a lot more movement going on in this game. Mm -hmm, very true. Fox has such great movement, he can outmaneuver this grappler. Oh, very true, very true. And that is kind of what happened here. Neon using his dash dances to bait out options. Mm -hmm. So, let's see how it goes. Okay. Now, I'm 
gonna have to think town and city or one of the oh no, going to swim about Uh we're gonna see the Palatina. We, we, we might see the Palatina, because uh if you if you weren't watching earlier, this set this is a run back, right? And Lito lost game one in the first set with Incineroar, then went Palatina. And it was 2-1, I'm pretty sure, to Neon's uh, Neon's favor. Yeah. So maybe Light was going to stick to Palutena for this entire, uh, the entire rest of the mm, set. Let's see. Okay. Yeah, he's yeah. going back to the Palad. Cool. Makes sense. I don't know how this matchup is exactly, but it seems a lot more even, or like, even playing field than 5 I think it is, yeah, but I think it also is also, um, like, Palu does struggle against characters with really good rushdown and frame data. Mm -hmm. um, so I think that Neon's... Uh, yeah, Neon's Fox is, uh, poten is potentially a good choice to okay. deal with that. Let's see how it goes. Mm -hmm. Alright. Oh, is the washing machine on? Not quite, but that looks a bit, that looks a bit like the tumble dryer. Okay. Great job with the dash attack, putting Lyo into the corner. That's some mix on this platform, nothing much. Okay, really, really yeah. safe teleport there from Lyo, oh, just going yeah. straight to Lyo. Neon Radish is calling out Lito's ledge options, using that Nair, mm -hmm. very privileged Nair, mm -hmm. to beat out Lito's aggressive ledge options. And now, Neon is the one in the bad situation. Beautiful angle! Oh, okay. Thank you, Wicked. Sorry about that. Didn't exactly remember. Okay. Down throw. What's the mix? Not quite getting their back air really unfortunate. Really good to get on uh, Neon to just get away from that. I like actually how Neon GI'd in on that mm -hmm. uh, down throw. Uh -huh. Normally, that's not what you want to do because that does mean it can true combo mm -hmm. sometimes the down throw into the up air. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> you caught him overextending a little bit with that up tilt. Yeah. Mm. If you didn't go for that final up tilt, then that wouldn't. I think that barely wouldn't have connected. Just, but hey, I'm, I don't play either character, so I can't say for, uh, for definitive. Ooh, great parry punch for the up smash there. That's gonna bring it back to even stocks, but Neon does have a couple extra more percent than Lito. So Lito's sitting pretty right now. Oh, getting it to 69. What's the next? 70? Is it? No, not quite. Yes, 70 is the number that comes after 69. <laughs> yes, yeah. <laughs> you're, you're very right, Jay, honestly. I, I, think I'm, I think I'm a bit dumb in the head, so I don't really know how numbers work. Alright. But also, one is the number that comes before two, and we're seeing that stock lead. Mm -hmm. Very, very starting to starting to open up one more bad bad commitment like that and Lito can take it. Definitely. Oh, oh. not quite finding any conversion off that down and tilt. It kills. But wow. Wow, yeah. That down tilt pushing uh, Neon further into the corner, getting the kill with the mare, really nice to see for Lito. Okay. Oh, now, yeah, we're seeing some Neon Marriage combos. Mm -hmm. He's got some really, really stylish. Um, landing forward airs, up airs. Oh my god, explosive, flaming, water reticle, that is. Oh. Pressing every single B button. Yeah, no, Lito's in the control now. Oh, I really love these empty, uh, empty jumps we're seeing from either opponent, just kind of conditioning each other. And it's like really good movement option for Neon, and for Lito, it's kind of conditioning Neon into any option you want. Not quite getting the two frame, which will reinforce it for Neon. Great dash attack to cover the ground in space. Yeah. The patience we're seeing from other player right now is lovely. Hopefully, not quite going to get anything from that. Stream is uh, stream does have some uh, quite a few drop frames at yes. the moment. Unfortunately, sorry, not we, not much we can do about it. Mm -hmm. Unless we get mid, uh, mid short here, but like uh, I think no, we've just had bad bad frame rates the whole uh, okay, whole time. Right. Sadly, okay. Uh, it hopefully will pass. Mm -hmm. so. Hey, that meant that, that was an even game, but that's that, the entire game was okay. Ugh. Give me a second. I can't get my words out. Uh, that was more of an even game in Light, in Lightwood's favor, but that was a set earlier. Neon won 2 0. Thank you, Wick, for telling me that. So maybe Neon can swing this back into his favor and not go to game 5. I mean, it is, it is now uh, Neon's counter pick. Mm -hmm. Hollow Bastion, I think this going to be really strong because, like, Hollow Bastion and Smash for all those long platforms in the middle, really good for tech chase options on there. And, crucially, it's huh? not a platform that um, Palo can walk cancel off of. Oh, that's interesting, I never knew that. Yeah, because they can't get, well, well, they can do it, but they can't do it out of the corner to oh. get themselves back into center stage. Oh, interesting, it's good to know, good to know, thank you. Ooh, I don't know what that, uh, what Ooh. 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 Yeah, using the Nair to jab lock. That was nuts. And we saw what, uh, like, like <gasps> I said, oh, that's it. 
That stock is just gone. That's 16. Yeah, but oh. like I said at the start of the game, the long middle pole. Oh no. no! Oh no, Neon! Oh my god! <laughs> Never mind. Uh, yeah, like I said at the start of the game, that long middle platform, great for tech chase, and Neon putting a show for us right there, it's proving to us right now. Mm. Like smash. Wow. Yeah, he's got such good reaction times. This player is too fast. It's insane. He was actually telling me earlier that, um, hmm? uh, so, the Fox Shine mm -hmm. is invincible on frame 2 and 3. Oh, not frame 1 in this game? Not frame 1 in this game. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That is, we are no longer in melee. <laughs> so, yeah, the fact that he actually pulled it out there to stop a, te um, a combo extension from Lyo mm -hmm. was really cool. Oh, okay, that's why I put it. Thank you, thank yeah. you. I wasn't too familiar with that, so thank you for telling me. And now yeah. the juggles. Ooh, another up there. Big damage. Yeah, this is going really well for Neon now. Oh, I love those uh, lasers to stack on the extra credit there yeah. uh, for Neon. So nice. He's kind of pushing it back to even. That's what he wants. Right no ledge trump. Lytle's not a happy boy after that one, but the back air's gonna kill. It's really nice. I think I thought this matchup is supposed to be like okay mm -hmm. for the Fox. Yeah, but Trilby, uh, gotta keep in mind that uh, Lytle did go in Cinema Game One in that uh, winner set, so it's not exactly Pally Fox centered. There. Maybe it's more of a personal thing. Who knows? Ooh, great illusion to get out of the corner and get away from the. Uh, Lyo commits with the explosive flame. That is a very big habit of his. Mm. Using the explosive flame to cover his uh, recoveries to ledge. Mm. And Neon Radish caught on, spaced himself around it. Mm. I think that jab was really nice to just kind of stack on the extra red extra percent. And it's going to increase uh, Lyo's lead right now. Yeah, I know. Lyo, he's been keeping uh, Neon in the corner so well. Punishing that bit weak off stage. Punish? No. Oh, conversion, sorry. No. That's it. Yeah. yeah. Forward air from that. Really nice to see. Perfect. 2 1 right now. Lyo finding his way, potentially winning the run back 3 1, but yeah, it could be. It's, in, it's entirely up, up in the air right now. I think I think Neon could really do it back. This is best of five. He's losing his finals. So. Yeah. yeah. Everything from this point on is best of five, correct? Yep. Good. I mean, it's grand finals after this, so. Ah, true. <laughs> that is true. Shit. Hello. I've, Are those people you know? Kinda. I've not seen them in years. <laughs> we found some old friends. They don't know I'm trans. Okay. Well, that's all right. <laughs> they don't need to. All right. All right. Anyway. Right. Yeah. Came to game four right now. They do. Weird story about that. That was okay. quite exciting. Good use of the lasers and the auto radical could get some opening damage, but the auto radical a bit stronger getting. Do you uh, have a positive relationship with those guys in the past? Yes and no. Okay. Weird. I I'll tell you later. Uh, uh, yeah, no, I understand the feeling exactly. <laughs> I know exactly what you mean. It's a weird feeling. Yeah. Okay. But what's not a weird feeling is Lito taking the lead. Mm, very true. Very he typical. He took the lead at the end of the last game, he took the lead in the middle of the last game, he's taking the lead all the goddamn time. But Neon, fast runner, he can bring it back. He can, yeah. Insane. Fox is a very explosive character. So much damage yeah. with those affairs. He's very true. Also a great <gasps> juggling option. The punish with the back air, really landing. nice effort yeah. from Neon. Oh, the movement away there, getting just not quite getting clipped by the neutral air. Uh, from but yeah, but he actually whips the the re grab. That is mm -hmm. a big thing you need to be paying attention to, especially against warp recoveries. Really like, like seeing Halloween. that confirm from Lyle. He's bringing it more into his gameplay now, and I love seeing that. Oh my god, he's just going for the up smash. He's just up smashing. <laughs> <laughs> That's all Neon. That's all Foxes are going to do. Not Neon. Neon's a bit too stylish for that. Oh no, I think he is. I, I don't think he is. I think he is. <laughs> uh, I'm not saying he's not stylish, but I think he is definitely the kind of guy who will just up smash. I mean, if it works, it works. Uh, but hey, that back air's not an up smash, and that back air definitely took the stop. Alright. Weird corner situation right now. I feel like they're just trading blows right now. There's not much really strong advantage to seeing that. Oh, light on. But yeah, now we're right? seeing yeah, Fox off stage. So it is weakest part of the game. Easily. Mm -hmm. Oh, great movement around that auto radical. Great awareness. There we go. Game. Damage. <laughs> up to up to up to F smash. I wonder if that was intentional. <laughs> if, it, if it works, it works. But <laughs> potentially. Chip Did that net almost uh, be yeah. auto radical? That's so funny. Oh wow, that was really smart. Yeah, because uh, Forte gives you extra momentum, right? It's insane. Lyos, I like how Lyos playing now. He's playing holding shield, he's waiting for Fox to land and calling out the options that he does afterwards. Great dash attack to uh, uh, punish the grab. Oh, nice. Fantastic. 
fantastic. Okay. Yeah, Lighto's catches abusing Fox's disadvantage so well. He doesn't even need super a ton of neutral wins. Mm, very true. And making the most of each one. Yeah. Especially this percentage. Ooh, interesting poke, but sadly getting whiff punished there. Yeah. That's what you do against Fox, you hold your shield. Mm -hmm. There's nothing much you can do about it. Very true. Now, but he does need to get that stock. He does find it. Wow. Just like you said, up smash. <laughs> just up smash. Yeah. He wasn't just up smash. He's always ready for that up smash at that kind of percent. <laughs> Very always. True. Ooh, nice confirm from the nair. Getting some really nice uh, extra percent. Bring it back to even, but why are we getting the nair? Oh, never mind. Doesn't get to react to the air dodge. Mm -hmm. and, but he's still building up this lead. The trip. I love oh, his no, confirms the... from Nair. It's so good. Sorry for interrupting. The, the jab didn't. Uh, the jab lock. That's so unfortunate because of just because of Palu's bounce. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Okay. It could just be one or two more confirms now from beautiful parry. Sadly, he didn't get too much off it. Maybe he was wanting to go for an up smash, but hey, I'm not him, so I don't know. Back, but no. One more. <gasps> no way! Oh, he wasn't ready for the DI. He called out the he called out the neutral tech with that up smash, and it's been a fairly active wow. move. That is free one to Lyo, winning the run back, going into grounds, and loses side. Yep. That was a really fun set to watch. Oh, is that oh, you? Me? What? Can I have a Coke on my I'm gonna grab someone. Connor, have fun at the melee event. Let's go! Silly commentary now. Oh. I'm sorry, I'm letting a shit poster on the mic. I wasn't paying attention how the last set Uh Neon lost 3-1, uh, sadly. 3-1 uh, to Lido. Yeah, Lido winning <laughs> the one. Checks in chat saying that's BS. Fair point, checks. Fair point. So true, so true, checks. Where are, uh, where's our audio levels? Uh, let me just make sure that Lyo is... Kieran! Yeah? Score! Uh, it was 2-1, uh, 3-1 to Callum. Good. Mm -hmm. Good stuff from Neon this back. Nope, Neon's been playing really well, but, uh, I get confirmed. Hey, Frog, hey, Jax. Yeah. Ne Neon's playing really well. Here's um, our audio levels if you want to just... I played him a little in, uh, <laughs> from these news. If the mic's all, like, game audio is a bit weird, just please make sure to tell us. Yeah, say in chat if any audio's off. Oh, I didn't put it in the back. It's, I can't, I can't do it. <laughs> do it later. I'm dog shit at me, I just want to play people's. Draw be sent, dude. Uh, well, actually, I like Melee. But it's not like Goldie, I'm like, yeah, it is. Oh, unfortunate early SD from. Wait, what? No, oh. no, no, no. What the? Whoa! What? Wait, no. <laughs> what the? I have no idea what's going on with this character. Dear God. Okay. okay. For, a, for a second, I thought you we were good in checking. Yeah. Okay. I mean, uh, if it, if, oh my God. That was a very quirky beginning of interaction. I'm, I'm so surprised that happened. Oh, we updated this to Grimes. Yeah. Okay, clean update. There we go. There we go. There we go. Okay, so we're right back into it. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, Palu getting Palu the getting confirm? The, that's a classic of Palu. Mm -hmm. I died to Palu the other day. Oh, whoa. Use the reflector, just like. Uh, one, thing a lot of uh, one thing a lot of characters can do to win this matchup, especially, is countering and reflecting Minecart, because that's one of Steve's best options for approaching and creating pressure, in my opinion. But I'm not, I'm not Steve Main, so I don't know. <laughs> yeah, you're not personally a Steve then. Wow, mm. I just I held a little proof call that. That was a hard call out. That was a really hard call mm. out. That was kind of nuts. Ooh, great angle from the Airborne Sunday, we're more confident than Mike. Yeah, yeah, for sure. That was almost pretty cool. We're seeing very, uh. It's, it's almost a little spaghetti. It's almost a little spaghetti game. We, we got some Italians here. There's a little. Geo's in the back, of course, there's some spaghetti. <laughs> but... I was talking earlier today, was, uh, I, was, I was looking at some Guilty Gear Strive stuff, and we realized that there was no Italian characters in that game. Fun. And I thought, I thought that was a sham. I mean, uh, coming from Smash, of course, we're going to be used to the Italian characters. Well, that's what I said. People were saying there should be more Italian representation. I said, you know, Smash is literally a main character. He's called Mario. He thinks he's a bit of a stereotype, which people aren't liking. Dear God, that unfortunate SD at the start of the game is making, is making this look like Lyle's game in video. a free stock as well. Terrifying. But of course, you know, Steve is Steve. Maybe he's doing some Steve stuff, but it's not yes. really Lyle's playing a very general... Yeah. I don't react to that, which is good. Mm -hmm. a, a worse Palo does not react there and probably dies for it. Well, I always know a worse Palo. Yeah, of course. Ooh, a worse Palo is a bad, really clean. That's shoving Vivi into a corner. That's where uh, he wants her. 
Yeah, that Lido's just consistently getting these bears as well. What? That one block was really it's clean a, from GD. It's if I could immediately disappear this afterwards as well. After yeah. after Pally bonks our head into it. Like if, uh, if you're a bit slow and you're like not uh, fast enough to know. Whoa! That's a hard call out. Yeah, that goes nutty. Oh, that's, what, that's what I do. I just hold up smash in front of ledge and hit something. Mm -hmm. If someone yeah. jumps, just hit it. That was really good. That was actually a really good the finisher at the end as well. Very true, very true. Very true. Now, I feel like this could go into more of an even game playing field. Oh, Vivi's counter pick. Now, the stage is going to be really strong, but in my opinion, it's an instant ban against Steve every time, just because that metal ring and platform give extra iron. Two different mining uh, loadouts, so you can get double, uh, you can get basically different sets of resources whenever you want. If you want iron or like redstone, you go into the circle. If you want a stone, you go off uh, to the side. I mean, that's what's interesting about Steve, is that Steve gold is arguably sometimes better than your other materials, because I mean, you go incredibly fast. Yeah, you do get some uh, gold exclusive combos off. Everything becomes even more close, it's awesome. Yeah. Uh, I hate it. It's yeah, really cool. Um, oh, no confirm now, that's really important yeah. to see from Vivi. Unfortunately, Vivi is right still now, on. Uh, really good. Not, mm -hmm. not, a, not a ton of damage payoff so far due to Vivi still being on wooden mats. Mm -hmm. Which is. Uh, yeah, wooden mats aren't fine. They, they'll do the job. Right? <laughs> like right now. Yeah. It just means that when we get the two hits, we don't get quite right. as much. Uh, just like in the start of Minecraft, in the start of Smash, you just gotta stick with the wooden mats until you can grind up to the better materials. Doesn't kill. Doesn't quite kill. Great DI Real and just close. jump there from Vivi to live even longer. Yeah, Lytle's playing. This is the classic fundamental Lytle game. It's just. You know, Get these solid bears, yeah, that, exactly right. Yeah, yeah, great jump to live even further. Mm -hmm. Staying very, yeah. Same, yeah, sa second verse, same as the first. We've seen the downfall come out again. Yeah. Really going for it. It, it does, it does crazy kill. Yeah, that's yeah, the back air. Really. The back air calling on the uh, crafting was really good there from Lyle, and just for forcing BB to sadly lose a stock again. A worse Palu gets stuck on this platform in the middle here. Which yeah, because you can't, uh, well, you can, but you can't from ledge uh, teleport cancel onto it exactly. for safety. That, well, Vivi mentioned that earlier. That's what I was going to say. I've been watching Lido go for the teleports like onto middle uh, plat here, and it's not really, you know, he's not getting cancels, obviously, mm -hmm. but he's still getting on it kind of safely, I which is cancel. interesting. I, I, I wonder if perhaps we're not making full use of the counter pick necessarily. But yeah, yeah, definitely. That's a, that's a window. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> a really nice move from Kyle. Just kind of following that. Yeah, like you said. That was pretty perfect. I was doing really good yeah. from Ooh. having lost to. Uh, I really like Vivi's uh, approach from ledge, just run up shield and gain some ground. And of course, uh, Palatina's tilt aren't going to be the strongest. You should update to 1 0 by the way. Oh, fuck. Yeah, just so you know. Sorry, sorry. Uh, I've been watching so much Evo. <laughs> Evo was really good for anyone who didn't watch Evo. It was really fun. Uh, I think a lot of people here probably didn't watch Evo because it was. Um, I don't know. No, no. I watched Evo. It's just because it was no Smash, right? It, it was a classic Smash as Evo. There was multiverses. There was multiverses. It was a really good payout, too. Did you see the multiverses payouts? I don't want to have Smash Twitter drama or the Smash Twitter discussion. I don't, I don't get. I don't, get I'm just, uh, I don't think it should be a point of contention. I think it should I don't be think just a congratulation. No, I said drama just because Twitter was coming to mind. Don't worry. Just I don't read Twitter. I hate Twitter. Good. I, I'm, one of, I'm one of these people who technically has a Twitter account, but don't, does not read Twitter. Ooh, that's gonna be bad for me. Nice punish there. Like we was mentioning to me earlier, Lyle often overcommits with explosive flames, trying to gain some ground, and it doesn't always work out for him. I think I think that's a very common Palu thing. It's ca it's kind of like what you see a lot with like I don't know. You see it a lot with like wolves. Wolves, mm -hmm. wolves go for the bear all the time because it's really like good. Mm -hmm. But then they overcommit and they go way too far in because yeah. it's such a good move. Measure. So you see that a lot with Palu side B because explosive flames just that good. Fourth oh, percent at such a really nice really angle. Really that catch. Yeah, just scaring. Me. Here a little bit, but sadly, there's an oh now. BB has redstone, that minecart is gonna be a terrifying option. Dice punish really. on the up smash there with that dash, dash attack. Smash. Smell it all says wicked, yes. Smell I think up. that dash attack is the only thing that could have probably uh, punished and killed at that uh, range because yeah, like, it was instant dash attack. It's cool, yeah. either that or like a very quick, uh, you know, back air or something mm -hmm, that, that is manageable, but it's just you know, why go for it? Because probably dash attack is very consistent, it's one of mm -hmm. the best ones in the game, probably. Absolutely, kills, okay. kills Great. good. Yeah, very true. Not all the Maybe we go for the block there, yeah. Oh, like, uh, yeah. I'm not sure if that's light or DI or just a little bit of misspacing. It looked like the block was slightly misspaced, but maybe yeah. it was a DI thing. But hey, we're not the players, we don't know at the end of the day. I think something that's very interesting about uh, Anvil, I'm pretty sure if you reflect it, just goes nice directly back there from Wait, Anvil? Uh, I'm yeah. I have no idea. That'll be interesting to see. I think I've I've done it before with like hero bounce, and I think it goes directly upwards. Oh, good, the hero's there. Uh -huh. I'm so Ooh. terrible at landing Pali Bear. It's so hard. So I, th I think Dark Pit Dare is like the the Dark Pit Dare spike is easier. 
Oh, right. oh sorry, Vivi yeah. dies there. Really? At this point, I see Lido kill Wave. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> what did Lido kill Wave? I was not paying too much attention. I was looking away, very sorry about that. <laughs> we can have a bigger prize pool for players if we tax our tiers. Remember, remember, ladies and gentlemen, and MD Force, uh, greedy tiers, common L, many such cases. No, I, I want more money into the tiers. <laughs> I want the tiers to get more money. I, I want the tiers to actually get money instead of more money. Now. I really do like uh, any Wavy Games for you. Hello, Hyda, how are you doing? This is going to be a high terrific game. Now, let me give you the rundown. Light Oaf and Weezer's side, losing to Neon Radish 2-0, sadly. Winning the run back, getting into uh, Grands, and he's fighting his way back to the reset. We love seeing this from Light Oaf. Really nice. But one thing I also love seeing is these meaty fist confirms well, yeah. from Vivi. To such an extent that we see the pickaxe break. <laughs> Very funny. Yeah. Okay. She's, like got her, she, 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 she's got her materials back. Auto radical is so annoying things. sometimes. Very true. It's one of the most. It, it is, in my opinion, part of the most frustrating too. Because like, I can at least turn my brain off when there's a mag going on. Oh! Catching out the neutral head on that See, right there. There. Very. Yeah, that, that's just the consistent light up that we're seeing. Like, just, just calling out these habits. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, definitely. Going for what he knows the Steve probably does here. And he's just. He's just making all the right choices here. He's making right choices. No way. Whoa. Okay. We're, we're going grand we're going reset. Right. We're going right to the reset. Small battle for the sun, so it's like. We go right into. Spice you can't forward to the. Yeah, grand reset. There we go. We go right into the reset. Uh, was, yeah. Wasn't feeling that game. Wasn't feeling that Oh, we see the rock. Let's change from Steve to rock. I'm not, I'm not going onto the first screen, so it doesn't matter. Okay, sure. Mm -hmm. It's all good. Fair enough. Okay. Okay, we see a spot for Rob. Not, not feeling Steve. I would like to mention, we did just see a Vivi Rage, unfortunately, but that happens. And also, uh, sorry, I, let me get my words. Uh, Vivi, I'm pretty sure mentioned to it with someone else that Lyle almost figured out the, uh, is that for the Rob matchup or the Steve matchup? It's one of the two. I, I don't want to speak definitive on this because I don't want to talk out my ass. It's interesting because they are both very like popular characters with like mm -hmm. you know kind of defined routes that they go for. Mm -hmm. um, the, the interesting thing with Rob is just whether or not he gets what he wants. Oh, why did that jump scare me? Checks I think anything would jump scare you. I think you would get jump scared of anything. Checks is a bit of a scared cat, we all know that. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Good punish on the down tilt that from my own. Uh, very good aerial play here. This is what's interesting about Rob is that a lot of the time a lot of these upsides, I feel like, come from the fact that you can go very, very high to get out of stuff, because mm -hmm. it would be very quirky. But Paul is one of the characters that takes use of that, with very good aerial drift. And really good juggling as well, so I kind of just call that out. Very good with uh, all these other... Vivi the... is spending a bit too much time on the ledge getting grabbed. Oh, he has light up. Just warp, warp it in key light. Oh, I don't know if it's punished for OP, not by anyone. Yeah, people, as soon as people will start punishing those OPs on stage, it's going to be... At the end for Lito, it's insane. It's interesting. It's it a couple of gamers, speak up. It is very difficult to do. Mm, very true. Rob, we I love Rob. Rob. We we can. Can. I hate you. <laughs> Ooh, great back air trump from the ledge, really nice. Okay, we, I think we're seeing a little bit of mind games here. When, yeah. Ooh, okay, I, that was a good effect. Was I was good. almost going to say a bit of deja vu from the last stock, but nice mix up from Vivi to go for a uh, up air. Down okay. smash? Right, that, that's kind of like a wolf move. But... <laughs> Spot up down smash. Another down smash to call out that aggressive teleport. Call, call out on the wall. Very Come well. on. Oh, I don't want to see a third down smash. Please don't stay with that hard. Baby. I think it's interesting. It's interesting. I think this is probably a part of why I was talking to me on. Mm, okay. Great roll away. I was talking well, to me on earlier, um, and he and he mentioned how Lito uh, thinks the Hug Fox match was horrifically losing for the Palo, mm -hmm. and I think a part of that is that uh, Lito really likes. Raven. That's a that's a confirm. That's a confirm right there. That's a net up tilt. That kills. It's <laughs> really hot. Oh, it's right. just like that. is like that. Power is like that. Power is just like that. Raging. All right, I'm not the happiest. I played Callum the way. I was not the happiest after that. So. <laughs> it happens. I would be happy. I good up smash that. Oh, that was, was really good. Strong, just kind of great get off and kill options. What she needs right now is getting two or three more kill options. Well, not at this percent, but you know. Very consistently spacing around the Rob Nair for the Palo Nair, which is interesting. I'm seeing it oh, of course, one is bigger than the other, so you can kind of just, kind of just it's interesting. space it a bit easier for Rob. It is, it is interesting, because obviously Palo is the most active in the game, and it, it's a suction vacuum. 
<laughs> I have no idea what you're talking about. Ooh, uh, probably Nez. Probably Nez. It's just oh, a vacuum. Okay. It's just, okay, it just sucks everything in. It's like entering the black hole. Don't trip into ground. <laughs> that is <laughs> It's Alex. Get that right. Ellie. Okay. No, apart from the platform, the unfortunate for Vivi, she's gonna get the back throw now. Yeah. No gyro. You see the immediate. No this El Diablo is, either. It, it's. Yeah. Lido's on the fair. offensive here. Lido really wants to secure this kill, I think. I really like that down tilt from Ledge there. Uh, Vivi did. It was a great get off me and just push uh, Lido back into the center stage. Just good pushing back space. pressure. Just yeah, very true. Uh, I think. Yeah. Uh, Lido was feeling it with, with Gyro there for a sec. I'm gonna see a bit of a down throw in North Pole. Oh! No! That's Getting what makes clipped up. on the neutral head. Or, I, you can see it in the camera. Vivi Basically shaking her head. She is not the happiest gamer right now. Unfortunate. That is tough. That is tough. Hey, it happens to the best of us, it happens to the rest of us. I think, this is what I was saying though, Lido really, really does not like the um, uh, Fox matchup with Pali. Mm -hmm. And I think the reason for that is partially There's because... There's not a Fox on screen, why are you talking about the Fox? Well, no, because this is what just, it leads in, it leads in. I talked about this with... Is Pithra? Let's go! I just love seeing some Pithra. <laughs> Go on the hey, maybe she, maybe she's just schmixing him up in the real game, all right? We could see the nasty Pithra. I've not seen Pithra played in bracket in Newcastle. Like, won't mind. Other, other than by like not in like the, well, there's a couple the like of higher echelons. I mean. There's a couple of Pithra players. She's had a Pithra for a while. Is that true? Yeah, ah. yeah very true. That's interesting. That's okay. Probably still top five players as checks. I listen, checks. I agree. I think we both agree. <sighs> interesting. <laughs> all right. I think that's a ballsy player. <laughs> that's a ballsy, ballsy player. Hey, let, hey, let's not talk about it, guys. Let's not talk about that. Let's, let's, not talk about it. let's go right into the next game. I know Corvus isn't in the community anymore because of her very unfortunate ban, in my opinion. But it makes sense. Uh, so let's, let's not pick another person. To... I'm just going to look at him on Twitter. <laughs> It's it's actually it's actually an interesting thing. Uh, you know, well, we didn't realize we didn't look at the rule set. We, we didn't realize that Pithra was actually banned. We didn't oh, realize Pithra was actually banned. Banned, banned by the by the the, the, uh, the rule set. So that's how it goes. <laughs> no. Check it out. She's assuming you're not getting the representation you wanted. Susie, you think you're funny? Checks in the sense. I understand. That's how it feels. I think. Seeing it here, I've not seen these Terry. I don't, I don't think. I don't know. You don't think? She has a terror. She just told me. Yeah, yeah. She doesn't she have just a terror. Terror. Okay. Third commentator. But if the terror wins, it'll go nutty. It will go nutty. It will it'll go, go fucking hard. nutty if the terror wins. I'll pop off. Actually, really good DI that from that to not get the uh, to not allow for Vivi to get the up up after the down throw. Yeah. Seems like the kind of seems like the kind of fundamental move in the back of balls. Yeah. Terry. Yeah. yeah, Terry. Vivi. She she's exhausted. She's mentally drained. I think she just wants to press some buttons. I don't blame. Her, to yeah. be honest. Who can? I, I, I was also tired of the. Uh, I yeah. I think it's kind of annoying. Yeah. Oh. Me, oh, me and lovely. Neon like both arrive seven pound a tie, but Neon wakes up so much faster than I do. Cringe. Neon wakes up a lot faster than I do. I'm 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 just oh, like. Oh, goes on deck right now. We can see some shenanigans. We're seeing the up Yeah, just these aerial chases. Okay. Okay. Really good. nice aerial should get a pass that yeah. up. That really nice. Good fast forward aerial. Fast forward aerial is just a good way to go. Oh, so true. Like if you fast forward with neutral aerial, it yeah. gives you zero landing lag. Yeah. It's so funny. Not, not funny, it's insane. Great jab, 1-2 two, two into the power dunk. I'm gonna be honest, I have no idea how to commentate Terry Bogard. I should learn. Yeah, let's go. I have no idea if that was up smash, up till or spot dodge uh, attack. I have no idea, I'm not the smart. I know how to commentate Terry. I mean, most Terry things are like pretty consistent within themselves. Like, okay. So, tell me more. Okay. Uh, well, so obviously there we saw jab jab power dunk. Like that's just confirming the same way that jab jab sure you is on the on the other shoulders. Makes sense. That's the main thing with a lot of the shows is that they have fairly linear game plans when you break it down. It's just a very effective linear game plan. The only yeah. one that isn't like that is cars. Yeah, and, I, and even cars like has a most effective game. Plan. I think they're not the most linear in the game, but they're definitely linear. Like I think that's an interesting point to bring up. Yeah. This is that's the thing. You can play like a very effective cars without ever using electric wind, which is kind of messed yeah. up. It's kind of messed up that he's like pretty good and then they give him electric wind. You, yeah, you can play him as like a normal Smash character without like too many of the bullshit stuff. And he's still like maybe a mid tier. He's like pretty good, yeah. I think it's interesting that uh, he could have maybe gone for some Gold Soul stuff there. Uh, we're not seeing. Okay, I'm wondering if he's going to be able to get anything out with the go. 
Ooh, no punish okay. that light jump. He wanted it. Light well, don't get set on me every time. It's messed up. He farms that. So. Yeah, sadly, she That's didn't do the charge partitioning and didn't get the uh, motion and conversion of the upbeat. Being invincible, that it is. <sighs> I don't know how, how this might be. I, I just wanted to what extent. Yeah, I guess, I guess if you grab under ledge, it's fine. It's mm. just, if you, if you charge, it also kind of goes further, and you want to make sure you don't go past ledge. And I'm, not, I'm, I'm pretty sure it just overextends anyway, because, like, uh, his, his pixies go above a bit. And that's what, more, uh, that's what not really clipped uh, on a second stop. Okay, kick back on the stage. Kick back on the stage is kind of like Ridley side B, where you really want to do it. <laughs> and then, and then, so true. And then, like, every Terry wants to do it. I didn't love it. That's the mix right now. Lyle is playing patient, staying away. Let's see come here, just this. Oh. Mm, great. Uh, that, I think that was an interview. It was very strong. That was going to kill from that side of the stage. Here's on deck. That's the mix. Oh, that was so active. <laughs> <laughs> no, she wanted the. Uh, it wasn't the grab. cleanest input. I think she's making sure. Yeah, that there we fun. go. No back air. Unfortunately. Like, we're not quite going for them to you. Go the opposite direction, is interesting. A Shoto character teabagging is the scariest sight you get. <laughs> <laughs> you know they're charging for something. You, yeah, you have no idea what the they're, fuck doing they're doing. They're doing something. And with Terry especially, you, you've got so much you can do out there. If it's, if it's Ryu, you can't. Uh, yeah, we would cover these. Okay, okay. It's light all way. Not covering a lot of grounded space there with that uh, bust wall, but not quite covering the right grounded space. Shh. Just a smash out of shield. So true, Juice. So true. Yeah. In theory, there's a couple things Paolo can probably do. Uh, okay. <laughs> oh, what the? That's fuck? that's gonna kill. That's gonna kill Terry right that's there. That's it. Vivi Metal uh, Exhaust. And that finishes up Grands. Alright, that was Grands. That means our winners. Uh, with a pretty clean loser streak is Lito, making it all the way back from his loss against Neon, which is interesting actually. So that means our top three is Lito, Vivi, Neon? Yeah, in indeed that's it right. is. Okay, we're actually finishing ahead of schedule at the moment. Uh, I oh, have... yeah, true, it's like 8 30. That's so. That's so. New. <laughs> new. Yeah. Uh, Alright. This game fucks up, it is fucking shit, and Palu takes no skill. <laughs> Tokyo talk, talk Shake Queen. Tokyo okay, Shake. Uh, 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 Alright. Uh, uh, thank you, everybody. I have been. This is why I dropped Palu. <laughs> you only played Palu because you were. I played Palu in Smash 4, and then I started Ultimate. I was like, this character's lame. They're really good, but they're so lame. So I've dropped Palu and picked up Ridley. Just imagine having a move that does literally everything for you. That's pretty good. I like it. It's not just now. Auto Reckless. Nez good. Uh, short, short side B. Short and side B is really good. It kind of wins neutral. Really Obi get Obi is a free disadvantage. The best, the best, yeah. Obi leaves disadvantage for free. It's yeah. Cool. Checks agrees. Checks us facts. Checks. Checks. Listen. 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 If you're. If you're. You're, I'm, I'm assuming you're going to derm next year. I'm just going to pick up Palu just to troll you and only you. So funny. <laughs> such, such a W. Please, we need a. <laughs> we need oh a no! I believe me. I understand that Stephen Rob are oh, horseshit, but you know. I at think every character I in this game is At least I have to aim when I press my A button instead of just. I think all of know, them are doing it, it and it beats everything. Like. I think half the cast is bullshit. <laughs> this yeah, game is, yeah, it is. so <laughs> <laughs> This game sucks. That's what it is. It's like that Isam bit. Y'all ever watch that one Isam video? It's like a clip, it's like a minute long, and there's a guy in chat who's like, I play Steve, but everyone makes fun of me for it. I, I, I don't know if I should still play Steve. And Isam was like, just play who you want, because no matter what, people find a way to complain. And then he went and he was like, Mario. And it's like, everyone will find a way to call the character bullshit. And he went yeah. to the top left of the roster and he was like, Mario, he just presses up air and then presses up B and kills you. Yeah. Luigi, he just grabs you and kills you. DK. Well, just, let's do that right now, Jay. He just grabs you and goes upstairs and kills you. I think I don't think I want to think about oh. this game at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's fair. I can't blame you. All right, uh, GG's everybody. Yeah. Thank you for joining us for Newcastlevania. Whatever number it was, I have been Alchemy. I've been Schmelonel. Thank you for joining us. Hopefully see you next week. Good stream.